right. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Uh, welcome everybody watching on YouTube and Twitch and Steam uh, to the day that the Terrain of Magical Expertise RPG launches. Uh, my name is Chris Neosi, uh, otherwise known as Kerberfer. Uh, not his voice, just his name. It's complicated. Uh, I am the creator, uh, lead animation, art designer, person, head honcho of this project. Uh, it's been an incredible four-year journey of working on this. I, I truly can't believe that already, but uh, wow. Yeah, here we are. My God. Uh, I hope that everybody can see and hear me on everything, and this is going okay. I've, I've never done like a multi-stream thing before, so I hope this is working. Um, all right. Uh, I've joined by a whole bunch of very lovely people who are all uh, very patiently on mute right now. You can all come off of mute, please. Hello. Hi, I was already off of mute. Oh, well, look at you. I had <laughs> a bum rush the audio. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I had welcome. To find the unmute button. Wow. Uh, okay, my God. Uh, yeah, I thank you guys all for being here. Everybody, everybody who's here, everybody who's watching, this is a huge day. I'm losing my mind. Probably I'll cry today. Forgive me for when that ever happens. <laughs> um, cry on stream. It'll be great for it, you. It's so, yeah, yeah. Just, oh, just no. give me all your ad rev. Um, I, I, so. I want to let everybody real quick talk about uh, who they are, and, uh, however for however long you want to say or whatever. Um, let's go from top to bottom because I know some people can only be here for a little bit. Uh, starting with, with with Scott, you up at the top here. Go for it. Hey, sorry. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, I'm the uh, well, one of the designers for uh, the terrain of magical expertise. I was uh, just going to kind of poke my head in here and say. Uh, Hi to everyone, um, and to enjoy the game now that it's out. Yes, Scott, uh, I know has is a, he's a busy man, but I want to give, a, a, while I have this moment, to, uh, it, like, fillet him, uh, his ego on stream. Um, I, Scott was instrumental in the statistical balance and uh, design of uh, particularly all the battles, which are, of course, the, the core of this game. Uh, the battle system and everything uh, in particular was uh, such a key element to making this as good as it could be. And he, you know, did all this incredible stuff with balancing the uh, stats of all the different characters and things and, and designing like what uh, characters are going to be paired up with who for different battles and things. And it, it was incredible, especially those first couple of years when we were laying everything out. Uh, so, Scott, thank you so much. If you have to run off right now, I'm totally OK. But I just wanted to say thank you for all the hours you put into this project, seriously. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, no problem. And, uh, yeah, no, uh, I, yeah, really hope everybody likes it. You know, it was, uh, it was a long time coming. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, in that case, uh, in and out. I'll see all of you. All right. See you later, buddy. <laughs> all righty. Uh, moving on. Adam, uh, it, it, you were particularly instrumental these last few months, I would oh. say. Please <laughs> talk about yourself a little bit. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, on the spot. All right. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm a writer, animator, person. I, I got to do um, a guest secret boss design in this game, which was fun. Mm -hmm. First time I ever got to do that. And then, as Chris mentioned at the end, like the last few weeks, just helping him do QA on this game and got the play. last few months. More like you kidding me? Oh Yo, yeah, I think you did at least like two <laughs> full playthroughs of the game while my arms were <laughs> destroyed. So, Neth, no, no, yeah. thank you for that. Seriously. Yeah, I've, I've been beaten up by like every character in this game. <laughs> including your own. <laughs> yeah, including my own. Like, you even like legit good stuff. Like, I'm scared to. I should flawless this game now at this point. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta platinum it yourself at some point, sinking even more hours into it. Um, yeah, yes, and. It's a fantastic game. And Adam did also, yes, he designed a, uh, a super secret boss that uh, perhaps old school uh, TTA fans might maybe recognize a little bit. Um, so yes, uh, we also have uh, many, many, many lovely voice actors, the first of which, please, uh, you, were, you were in here first and you should be saying something first. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, I win the race. Uh, <laughs> I am, I'm Brendan Blaber, a.k.a. Jello Apocalypse. Uh, I, I like... Herb also have had broken hands for a long time, <laughs> so we are broken hand friends. Woo! And I, I voice Raven Freak. Yes, one of one of my favorite. Uh, I would say bad guys, but really he's just he's just misunderstood. He's a real nice guy. 
Uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of depth. To race. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny you mentioned that you said like, oh, I win the race because you have a racing mini game battle with him, which is hilarious to me. So, uh, <laughs> also by the way, sorry, real quick, uh, uh, Shaladic Studios, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Alex here is one of the backers. It's an honor to help on such an amazing game. Been a fan since the first home animated episode. Time to battle on. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. Uh, next up, we have one of our our lovely stars. Uh, please unmute yourself and introduce yourself, my love. Oh, hello. You can hear me, right? Yes, yes, we can. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm I actually didn't even have my blooming interface turned on, so I almost <laughs> unmuted without the mic even buddy working. No, you're yes, good. Yes, hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Yeah, my name is Elsie Lovelock. Um, I voice Tiger Lily in Tome, and what can I say? I'm so happy to be part of this amongst so many amazing people who I never thought I would ever see my name, you know, being amongst uh, in any project. Uh, you know, when I was a wee babby and I first started. So um, thank you so much, Chris, for giving me the opportunity to be in this. Uh, I had so much fun. I uh, hope you're not too offended by my American accent. Um, I really did try my best. <laughs> I no, really no, tried. you were no, you were stunning. And you know, it's funny. It's funny I, by total happenstance. I actually just caught up with uh, my old friend uh, Santana, who was the basis for the character of Tiger Lily, who's been through many different Aww. incarnations and names. And uh, she just watched the trailer <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Cause like we made, <laughs> you know, we made these characters together when I, you know, it was 2003 or four. I made these characters when I was on a message board and met a lot of my first Aww. internet friends. And she was like, oh my God, you did it. You made this game. So no, so, so your, your character basis is very proud as well. So no, you've, you've got Oh, I'm really pleased to hear that. Yeah, approval. honestly, she's really <laughs> cute. When you showed me a picture and she's all like pink, I was like, oh my God, yes. I vibe and, so hard and, with and her, she's, she's amazing. And she's blepping on screen right now over on the right, as you can see. <laughs> Down yeah, I know. Left. It looks so cute. Oh my god, I just noticed that. That is so sweet. But yeah, no, thank you so much. I don't want to take up any more time. But no, yeah, you're fine. So you're fine. Me no, on, no and I'm beyond honored to be part of this. So thank you so much. Excellent. I will mute now. No problem. Uh, and next, we have another lovely lady, another one of our fantastic voice actresses. Please say hi. Hi, I'm Xanthi Huen, and I got to voice Snow Whitey. Yay! Um, thank you so much for having me be a part of this. Uh, when you uh, first reached out, I was. I was so touched because I know how much this project means to you and how hard you worked on it and I was just really happy to be a teensy part of it. Well, of course, yeah, no, and you were as always a pleasure to work with. I know we've only gotten to do a couple things together, but I've not, I can't remember how long we've known each other now. I think like probably since I first moved to LA, maybe before that, I can't quite remember, but you have grown in power exponentially with all these amazing things you've gotten to work on and I, I am I'm constantly amazed at your talent. So I know the fact that you would you would do my little rinky ding project is is that you've you've honored me. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Anytime. Awesome. Uh you say you're a little part of this, but I want to point out that uh of like through playtesting, uh Snow Whitey was probably the biggest pain in the butt to fight for a lot oh, of us. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, so, no, you definitely yeah. stick out in our minds. Yeah, just the fact that she <laughs> has a self a self healing technique where she makes like a little snow cone and eats it, and she heals your HP. I'm just like, oh, you're impossible. So there's a little pro tip <laughs> hand for everybody out there: get rid of Snow Whitey first because she is the toughest of the cast of trains. <laughs> And oh. an offensive move that lets her defend afterwards. That's, so. Yeah, yeah, no, very she is, tanky. She is a force to be reckoned with, much like Xanthi. Oh, That's so cool. <laughs> uh, next, we have uh, a, a man uh, who needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway, uh, because I've known this this gentleman for, oh my God, I think, wow, uh, at least a full de lo longer than a whole decade now. Yeah, and I he's, think longer than a decade. Yeah, I think two, that was a two thousand eight or nine. I think we first met. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, trying. but uh, and now he's also literally in the room across from me in my own home. Yeah, actually, hey, you want to see a neat trick? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh no. no, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm scared. I'm very scared right now. Hi, it's me, Cat. <laughs> uh, Chris's microphone. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my room now. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, I'm glad that uh, I had nothing uh, embarrassing in my room in the background. You could just see the, the my, my plain-ass white uh, paper behind me. <laughs> anyway, Wes, tell them what you did on the game. Oh, also, real quick. Shall oh, I, I got to put my headphones back on. Oh, yes, please do that. Yes, yes, yes. Good lord, good lord. Oh my okay, God. yeah, I'm I'm Kajet. I I uh, originally I did I did a lot of the soundtrack for the web series of Tom uh, originally, and on this project in particular, I did about a quarter of the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm seeing myself break into your room because the live stream is like. <laughs> 
It's, <laughs> it's, the magic it's delayed time on travel. my end, so I just saw uh, myself bust into your room. So. Oh my good lord. <laughs> but um yeah, that's uh the uh that's I, I lost my trade of thought after I you're just a saw you're a musician you're a musician room. on the game you've yeah, done tons I'm of a musician tons of on the game I, I I I live with you I've watched you like suffer through all of this I've taken you to ER to your broken hands <laughs> that's true yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah you know Chris I've watched you like go through this for like the last like two years mm -hmm. and I gotta say you know like. <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm like really proud of you. You know, I got to see every struggle and setback that you've been dealt with, all of the stuff behind the scenes, and man, you 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 handed it all like a champ. So, you know, I'm really proud of you, Chris. Well, thank you, buddy. And and uh, yeah, Wes has done an incredible job on uh, on his portion of the soundtrack. I think we actually might be joined by uh, maybe one of the other musicians if he'll be around later today. Um, but uh, Wes composed in particular, uh, Together We Shot as One, which of course we now have uh, two different language versions of. We have a Japanese version performed by Lovely Elsie over here, and uh, an English version performed by Alejandro Saab, who I think will be joining us. He's also streaming right now doing some stuff, but he should be coming in. Um, and uh, yeah, Wes composed tons of uh, battle themes and level themes, all sorts of stuff, jingles, a whole bunch of things, and every time uh, he, he contributed anything to the OST, which uh, will be coming out out, uh, later on in the year, prob probably October, I think. Um, yeah, it was, it was, I was, so, I was so excited anytime I could get any new music back from him, so uh, he's done a fantastic job. Um, next up, uh, a man who has been absolutely instrumental in just this game existing at all, and I'm very glad that he is uh, also, much like Scott was, available to come in for a little bit. Uh, please say hi, sir. Nathan, that's oh, you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was next on the list. I was distracted by the chat. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, some of you may have already heard me before in like the once or twice I've been able to join in on streams. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Nathan Lindley. I'm the lead programmer on this project and very happy to finally see it come to fruition. Um, I'm also like not satisfied with just making one game, so I'm gonna have to bounce and go work on the other game I'm working full time on. So yes, <laughs> thank you. Yes, a, a very cool game. That's uh, we can't go too much into that, but you got a very cool game that he's also working on, and I'm very thankful that especially in these last few months, again we we really hauled ass and we did so much stuff. Um, but uh, wow, my God, yeah, no, dude, thank you for four incredible years of working on this project and especially this this last year in particular where you basically took over as like lead programmer uh i cannot thank you enough for the amazing work that you've done dude seriously um and yeah. i can't thank you enough for the opportunity like the, getting to work on this project has made me grow so much as a developer and it's allowed me to make me meet, meet and become friends with great people and the it's just this is, uh, full disclosure, this is my first actual, like, released game, so I'm extra proud of it. Well, and it, really it, hope it, it will not be your last, and I'll even say real not. quick, everybody go follow, I'll even post a link real quick, everybody go follow, uh, at GameDevNathan on Twitter. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't tweet though. It's just, just a barren wasteland. Well, oh, oh, but you will be, you will be in in due time. I I know you will. Everybody go follow Nathan because he's got some amazing things in store. Um, do you uh, do you need to head off right now? Like, do, do, is, is this good enough? Do you want to head off, or do you want to do want to stick around for a little bit? It um, I am clocked out now, so it's not like they're they're on uh, paying for this or anything. Okay, so all right. Well, I, then, I think then I'll then stay sure, around sure, sure. a little bit. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna skip over a certain lovely lady who just joined us because because they're they're, they're late. So I'm She's gonna skip. Line cutting. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip all the way down to to the bottom uh, to our lovely uh, player character. Uh, who is a new fixture to the Tome universe. Uh, say hi. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> hey, I am Morgan Berry and I am the voice of White Hat Hacker. What's yes. up? I'm happy to be here. Awesome, yeah, who we affectionately refer to as Hattie. Um, yep. <laughs> Morgan has been, I've, I know I've probably said a lot of this on the Twitter announcements, but Morgan has become a lovely friend in the last few years. And, um, uh, and and I, I I really mulled over like who am I gonna get for our, our player character? I need this like youthful kind of like gender ambiguous peppy but sassy kind of character like open to interpretation for different people. Um, but uh, yeah, and and Morgan came to mind 
right away, and she did such a tremendous job. And my god, for for a, a, a relatively, what seems to be a less talky pro tag compared to all of our other leads, you had as, like, you were almost as talkative as Nylock, I think, the amount of hours that you had <laughs> in total. Uh, so so thank you for all the, the great, great stuff that you did on this whole whole project, Morgan. You thank were you. amazing. Thank you. I'm honored to be a part of it, and it was so much fun to work on. Mm -hmm. you, you got, actually, uh, and yeah, everybody out there listening, if, uh, if the, to those of you who were backers of our Kickstarter or any of our special events that we did and everything, um, we, uh, of course, we have all your characters in the game, including the ones with speaking lines. Uh, pretty much every single one of them interacts with White Hat at some point. So, <laughs> so, so Morgan will be talking with you guys. Oh, I see, actually, we have two different people in here. Uh, I think I think the one that was just above Morgan uh, joined us a little bit before that. So why don't you come off mute? One of our our lovely amazing stars, uh, come say hi, please. Melly, that's you. Melly. Um, Hello. I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> um, I don't want to intrude on anything. That's not my business. Wow, so full, I'll just... fully in character. My God. All I'll right. just log in on my own and stream snipe you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, all right, um, all right. You got your jollies out. <laughs> I got my jollies out. That's I am good, uh, a Melly Grant. I'm playing Game Soft, who's the specialist bean that we all need to protect. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I'm so freaking happy to be here. I, I I know this story has so much history, and I know how special a character Game Soft is. So when Chris offered me the opportunity, I leapt at the mm -hmm. chance to play her. And, mm -hmm. and as we've recorded, I've fallen in love with her so much. So I really hope you guys love this game. Yeah, and you were you were tremendous, seriously, and I, I was so satisfied, and I know we were both, you know, without spoiling too much on story content, we were both brought to tears in the, in the last section of recording, and uh, you guys have no idea what you're in for. Uh, it's it's uh, GameStop takes you on quite a ride throughout this story, uh, so I really, really hope you enjoy the, 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 the journey that we take with them. Um, he was so excited, and I was <laughs> just in a nervous wreck the entire time. <laughs> I was like, "Is this bad? Is this? I'm not sure if people are going to no, like you this." Great. Like, You're no, doing a you did great. No, you did so great. You did so great. Seriously, um, and uh, and we also have uh, another one of our villains. Actually, we have uh, a villain who has quite a lot of fun with Brendan's. Uh, they're they're a pair of uh, saucy, mean spirited, jerky uh, <laughs> uh, bl black hat hackers that uh, make. Uh, the White Hat Hacker and our heroes of the Dandy Alliance's lives. Uh, I've been um, working on this game for four years, and I just realized those two literally are wearing black hats. Oh, of course, yeah, of course, had had to, had to thematically. So, uh, Danny, do you wanna do you wanna say hi? See if we play. Please introduce yourself. Hi. Oh, you're very low. Turn your volume up, because because we're all ungodly loud compared to you. <laughs> I'm I'm in my house and my desk because I'm still working. Oh no worries, no worries. I'm next Hi. to the air conditioner. <laughs> that's so okay. If you that's hear okay. like a, that's my air. That's so. okay. No worries, no worries. Say hi. Introduce yourself, please, please. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Danny Chambers. I am really excited to be part of Tome. I'm a huge fan. And when Chris asked me to be a part of it, I was really excited. Oh yeah, I, I voiced Dust Bunny, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I get to play a villain. I'm so excited because I usually play precious babies, and I love them. So it's just really awesome to be bad this time. Yes. So thank you again for letting me do this. I'm super excited, and I get to play next to one of my good friends, Brendan, and I'm so excited. Oh. Yeah, no, I I think I think Chris told me like either near the end of the recording session or afterwards like oh yeah by the way you're the james to danny's jesse yeah like, pretty what? much yeah which is funny because the troublemakers uh which of course are Zeno and mike kovac and um griffin uh they're kind of team rockety in their own kind of way but it's almost like if they were like three meows <laughs> and then <laughs> and then dust bunny and raven freak are kind of like jesse and james sort of thing yeah certainly um, but, uh, I yeah. I love that vibe. I love that. <laughs> uh, my god, yeah. Um, and, uh, Danny, you can, if you want to mute until you talk, because, yeah, we can hear your, your AC. <laughs> Just like, I'm sure my AC is probably hearable at some point as well, because I'm dying in here. California heat is awful right now. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, guys, I, I, I'm overjoyed. I really cannot believe this. When I, um... 2016, uh, it had been about a year or so after I'd finished the animated series, um, which I know some of you guys are a little bit familiar with and some of you were involved with in different ways. Um, I, you know, I, 
a time came where I had to figure out what am I going to do next. And I had a lot of different options placed in front of me, and it was uh, it was thanks to the programming staff that I had met, uh, uh, Nathan and Scott, who was with us earlier, and also Michael Prinky as well, who was our former technical director, fantastic guy, um, who uh, who made this possible. Um, you know, it was not without without them. We, I, I, you know. I this is my first time making a video game. I'd freelanced on game projects as a you know just a animator or voice actor or whatever in various things, but had never developed my own game. Um, and uh, and the fact that I had such an amazing array of people that were willing to help me make that happen, um, from our staff to eventually our voice cast. Uh, and of course, also everybody watching the the fans and supporters and the Kickstarter backers and people who donated to the, all the charity streams and all the different things to have their characters included in the game. Uh, you all made this happen. It is it is just simply incredible to me that we made this work and that I actually created my own video game. Um, so, uh, God, I, I mean, what what do, what do I even say? It, it's it's. Uh, this is this has been a fabulous opportunity for me, and um, you know I, I, I hope that uh, I hope that people enjoy the game. Um, we're gonna do a whole bunch of different things over the next few hours, however long we're gonna go. And also, I want to re uh, re put this out here to everybody uh, uh, with us in the, in the voice chat right now. If at any point you got to step out or go or anything, please feel free. You know, this is this is totally an in and out. You know, come and, come as you go, whatever kind of thing. And everybody's super busy with various things, and I'm streaming during work hours anyway. So, but um, yeah, uh, my God, um, I suppose uh, to start off with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a little bit of the game. So I'm going to open up with uh, a level that we haven't seen before and uh, and just kind of go through a little bit of the game and then we'll we'll hang out and talk and um, we can answer questions from the audience and things and then we'll uh, take some breaks, do some different things at various points and go from there. What, what how, how does that sound, everybody? Sounds good. Elsie says she has to hop out. Oh, okay. No, but yes, I know you have to work. Yes, okay. You gotta go. I'm so sorry. That's but okay. It was, thank you so much. I might pop back again when I'm done. Um, if I'm not dying of heat, because God, it's so boiling here right now. But oh, no um, I thank you no so worries. much for having me, and it was so lovely to hear everyone. And everyone sounds great. Of and course. just I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, well, I might be back later, but if not, then goodbye, everyone, and thank okay. you so much. I love you, Elsie. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I, I will be going for a while. I'm, I'm sure Elsie will be back. All right, so here we, we go. We did also have someone pop in right at the tail end. Um, <laughs> oh, we did. Wait, wait, wait. Who's who else? Who else is coming? Kaylee, Kaylee just popped in. It's me. Kaylee, Kaylee hi, hi, Kaylee. Hi. Hi, Kaylee. Kaylee, please introduce yourself and talk about what you've done on, on, on the project, please. Oh, hi. Um, um, um. Uh, my name's Kaylee. I like donuts. <laughs> and <laughs> I am Kilimari, as well as a couple other characters, and I'm so excited to be a part of this fun project. You and uh, and not to mention, also, uh, Kaylee helped co-write the uh, lyrics to the Japanese version of... Uh, yeah, of, I did do that! <laughs> yes, of Together We Shot as one, which I was very happy about, because God, I, God knows my Google Translate ass, uh, you know, first pass at that probably would have been terrible, so thank you for that very much so. Um, and yeah, it uh, turned out awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, no, of course, yeah, no, and thank you for thank you for being part of this. Yeah, Kay Kaylee did uh, a, a whole bunch of uh, incredible characters um, for the game, uh, and in fact, actually, I'm wondering. So, so here we are. Let's talk a little bit about the game, if you guys can see. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able. To, oh, you know, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'll I'll try to see if I can screen share with you guys. I don't think it'll be too. Uh, it'll, it'll it'll kill my computer too much. So, all right, so. Here's Zen Hub. This is the area of the game where you first log into during each day. The game takes place over the course of a full month uh, in the real life uh, June 2020, like contemporarily. And uh, of course, hanging out in this little hub area are, uh, are, are you know, thousands, not thousands, but, but at least a thousand plus uh, of our uh, fantastic Kickstarter backer characters. All of you guys out there who donated uh, that I was able to include the, uh, the likenesses and characters of. And uh, of course, there's quite a few uh, that have uh, have voices as well. So let's see if maybe there will be. Who's the lucky backer? It is. It is, it is, it is frankly, on 
Uh, it's frankly insane that you managed to actually draw this many units. Oh yeah. NPC. Yeah, no, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I absolutely went insane on drawing all these guys. Thankfully, because they were so. so by the way, shout out to Edwin Tiang, who's our narrator. His, this is uh, his character, this little armadillo guy with the move. I think he's put this character in like a hundred Kickstarter games at this point. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, no, but, I mean, it was a joy getting to, to, to draw and bring all these different characters to life and have them part of this world. Um, let's, let's see. Hopefully it's a Marvel you didn't break your hands earlier. Uh, you know, honestly, hey, yeah. I heard you can find Garnet and Here's Diamond Morgan. gems in Moonstone Mines. Any info on how to get them? Hmm. Well, the diamonds are pretty rare. I never found one. Garnet gems you can definitely find if you just spend enough time looking. Okay, that's Brina, I believe. Yeah. I even snagged a couple garnets myself. They're hidden in minecarts around the different sectors, so be sure to check as many of them as you can. I think that's Layla Burzins right there. Careful now. Some of those minecarts are inhabited by monsters called Ifrates. They're quite strong. But if you've got yourself a crystal element attack on hand, you'll put out their fires in one blow. Thanks. So, of course, these guys, uh, that was uh, Jonas Scott, who, by the way, was his birthday yesterday. Shout out to him. So, uh, so yeah, it's worth talking to these guys because uh, often they will give you hints about certain things uh, or maybe even just kind of, like, help build the world a little bit with various, uh, you know, little things. Like, for instance, this guy. Oh, just wanted to say you got yourself a real nice heart, lad. Us hatties got to look out for one another. Thanks. You too. From one hattie to another. <laughs> or little flavory things like that. Um... And uh, I'll, I won't go through all of them because I'll let the players, uh, you know, have fun with talking to each of these guys and discovering them for themselves. But, uh, yeah. So, um, so this, this area is from uh, the second chapter of the game. This is uh, the Morganite Valley, which is this big sort of like crystally, uh, you know, kingdom area and everything. Um, and uh, this, uh, the, the, the music of this area was made by uh, Crusher, Crusher P, uh, who is a fantastic uh, Vocaloid uh, musician as well. And, um, yeah, she did a ton of great tracks for this region of the game. So, um, yeah, kind of exploring around Crystal Barrel Kingdom. This is the hub town of Morganite Valley. And, um, so, uh, you know, we've got a training dojo, like with the other ones, where you can learn a new technique. We've got the, uh, the shop where you can buy lots of items and things. And, uh, we do also up here have a, uh, a battle arena where you can refight some of the Kickstarter characters. This isn't the time for that. Not the time for that, and uh, as to why, you'll uh, you'll know. I'm I'm kind of skipping ahead a little bit in the story and kind of trying to leave some spoilers out. So uh, let's go uh, talk to a few of our heroes real quick, because uh, uh, these actors are not with us right now. But thou hast this night's gratitude for attending today's mission. Thine fellow squire Kerbafa should be arriving any moment. Mick Lauer, of course, as Nylock. Here. And Aaron Dismuke as Kerberfer. Speak of the cyborg. Greetings to thou as well, Squire. Uh huh. Hattie, what should we respond with? Oh my God. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, quick! Time's ready running to go. out. Ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> as I'll ever be. Most excellent. <laughs> then our trio of tremendous talents has assembled. I the love adventure Nylock. begins. <laughs> thy He's my favorite. Away, comrades, <laughs> for I. Look! <laughs> Master of executing exciting expeditions. <laughs> Gotta have the reverb on there too. Yes. We made a cutscene action node specifically for him doing so that. that. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Actually, accept the queen's intriguing Perfect. invitation to the grand glistening ball. All right, all right. Just tell us what we're doing. To the power so I'll kind of blast through this cutscene real quick, just to kind of get going with things. But, uh, alright, so just a little overview. Basically, our heroes are questing for some special gems that they need to collect for uh, the Campaign of Champions event that they want to enter at the end. Uh, so, let's uh, let's go and explore this little uh, this little crystal cavern. Uh, Brendan, t sorry, you were trying to say something earlier, and I, I talked over you. Sorry about I was, that. I was going to ask, since you said this game takes place over, like, a month, so I mm -hmm. guess, like, 30-odd days. Yeah. Uh, and you start in that little hub every day. Do mm -hmm. the NPCs, like... Like the rando NPCs, Kickstarter backers, do they change locations by the day? Or are they basically just like there each time? Or 
So, um, uh, interesting thing. So the way it works is that uh, this is actually what the level that we're doing right now is one of three different missions that you can choose to do uh, during this part of the game. So, uh, oh, by the way, here's uh, exploring the cave and you can find some enemies, but some of them are not actually uh, treasures and they're actually enemies. Um, so, uh, for instance, this one is uh, is, is the, the B choice of, out of like A, B, and C, right? And um, basically for uh, the, the, all the characters that we saw in Zen Hub in that particular spot uh, would be there for day B. Uh, but it's, since you can do the, the missions in whatever order that you want, uh, it's, uh, it's still the correct like date uh, in the actual like uh, the timeline of the game and everything. Uh, and funnily enough, in certain cases where uh, the date is consistent to, you know, like what it, exactly what it's supposed to be. There are certain characters that reference um, certain things that happened in the real world, uh, like on those specific days. Um, oh boy. Oh yeah. There and are uh, yeah, yeah. So there's, uh, I, I like in particular, um, there, there's, there's one, uh, I'll spoil this one. There's a character who has a ramen bowl for a head. And uh, I had him on a certain day of a certain character being announced for a certain fighting game uh, who was involved with noodles. <laughs> and uh, he was like, man, I'm really craving ramen for some reason. And, uh, and, and then uh, Hattie's like, gee, I wonder why. And of course, that was the day that Min Min was announced for Smash. So <laughs> that was uh, on that actual day in 2020 summer. So, uh, so yeah, little things like that. But, uh, interesting, interesting period to time capsule. A time where everyone <laughs> really did just only have the internet to run it. Uh, it run actually through. worked well into our game to where like this online game becomes a lot more popular during this time frame because everyone's stuck inside. I know it, it's actually really crazy, like how much certain things, uh, yeah, they just kind of happen to work out in that way. Uh, that like they kind of like I don't want to say like oh we're so convenient because you know some of the things that were happening during that time were quite terrible for the world at large but uh, in terms of like uh, you know because the thing about Tome for those of you who don't know every because there's been a few different incarnations of Tome throughout the years and uh, and every version of Tome has always taken place in the year 2020 because I made these characters in like 2003 right so you know, it's been a very, very long time that, that they've existed, and, and, you know, back then, 2020 just felt like this magical, you know, futuristic year in the far-off, uh, you know, future with, like, oh, we're gonna have, like, you know, virtual reality video games and things, and, you know, all this stuff that, that you know, and which now it's funny, because now with, like, VR chat and stuff like that, we have a lot of those things that become a reality, but um, I, I felt almost kind of responsible to have references to the real world, uh, you know, put in the game, uh, considering I, I designed ahead of time to have it be specifically in the month of June 2020. Um, so yeah, it kind of worked out in that way. It was kind of an interesting writing exercise, I guess, in some sense. And uh, by the way, I see we have a certain lady who's just uh, entered uh, the call, who is uh, on fire, in my opinion, with uh, how many amazing things that she's doing. Hi there. I, I <laughs> Are you, uh, wow. Did you skip lunch? Those are the bones that she's eating to <laughs> freak you out for that terrible pun. Wow. Oh, hey, I gotta, no, she's eating the crimson fruit that I just ate. <laughs> that I just, that I just earned from killing that, uh. Is this, is this your introduction? Is this how you want to introduce yourself to the world right now? <laughs> this game is beautiful. It's great. <laughs> well, there are crystals and blue things everywhere. I mean, look, yeah, he's, this, yeah this this ro this, this to enjoy the beautiful this this roach this roach is literally wearing an outfit that you would probably own. So <laughs> let me see. Look at him. Okay, you're right. You're right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna introduce introduce yourself to the world out there, Miss Main Character Man? Sure. Hi, I'm Faye Mata. I voice Flame Girl. Ah! Hey, our, our, and uh, I'm, yeah. it's a big honor. I'm, I'm really happy that you reached out on such a, it's such a big role. It's, it's yeah. like your, your passion project for so many years, and yeah. so, uh, yeah, it's really cool to the glorious to leader of the Dandy Alliance. <laughs> yeah, and and um, and working with so many cool voice actors. Yeah. Well, I, I am uh, so happy that you said yes. You are one of the busiest human beings on planet Earth. 
Uh, and uh, the, uh, fact that, the fact that you had time to, to even take on such a character. Uh, I do I'm, it to myself. Uh, well, that's true, but yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I'm so grateful and, and so happy that uh, I got to work with you on, on such a character such as this. You took such good care of Flamey. And, uh, and yeah, so, and thank you for being here too. I, I, between the 700 things that you're doing right now as well, I, I, I super appreciate it. Oh, so. I just have Norimaki Arare rice cracker with seaweed. <laughs> That's a, so this is effectively your lunch break. That's how you're able to be here for this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <Good> ASMR. <laughs> yeah. That's the ASMR part of the stream. Oh Hi, God. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Faye. So we have... <laughs> I love oh, my it. God. Wow. So we have, uh, we, have th we have three members of the Dandy Alliance with us right here, actually. That means... Wow. Legit. Wow. Um, nice. What, here's a, here's a question for, for, uh, for you guys, uh, and actually for all, for all the voice actors, what, what was something, I, I know obviously it'll be a little bit tricky in certain cases because of certain spoilers and things, but what was something about uh, each of your characters that, uh, that you really liked, whether, you know, during the recording process or just, you know, their design or their powers, anything like that? I just think they're a cool character. <laughs> I like Hattie. I don't even know how to explain it. I just really like them. Yeah. Well, they well they well they are you. They can be literally anybody who wants to identify. So yeah, for good everybody. point. They're chill. Say, they're while super While everyone chill. else thinks, while everyone else thinks of their answer to that question, to oh, Curb's dead. To buy some uh, time. Question on Hattie. It looks like on some of the key art, there's multiple Hatties. Can you swap uh, like? choose different avatars at the start of the game yeah or so is this the main so so i picked the cyborg uh the cybernetic version because it was my favorite design uh which is funny i'll show some of the concept art a little bit later on uh, kind of the process of how uh, each of them were designed but yeah i wanted to have this since there are four different uh races in the game uh in the full game world um i wanted to have uh, a different like kind of base version for each one um, you'll, you'll see why, uh, your options for choosing exactly what your character are going to look like are a little limited as you start your first file on the game. It's kind of a funny little gag that I use to sort of get around certain, uh, limitations. Um, but, uh, uh, basically, uh, yeah, the, the, the white hat design in the Tome universe is like the basic character design that you can have, uh, throughout, like, you know, like when you start an account in Tome, basically. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I picked the cybernetic version because I, I love the little kind of Bomberman. In fact, actually, Brendan, I feel like you'd appreciate it because it's very inspired by, like, the Bomberman 64 era, uh, kind of characters. Ah, so, yeah. uh... I want to eat this level. You want to eat this level? It, do it does look like very appetizing, like, rock candy. Ground is made of Skittles. <laughs> oh. By the, by the way, here's, uh, here's a few more of our, uh, fantastic Kickstarter, uh, backer characters that we have here. Uh, we had so many. Um, flavor. Nothing this night cannot handle. Be ready, squires. And uh, I think a bunch of them were voiced by some other friends of ours, actually. That might be Yo, was that the darkness, dude? I, it is. It is. This is the one that you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that means. Nice. Oh, that that means I have to. I have to make sure I get him down to half health so we can hear you. Was a, oh, was a, was I'm a, not even a voice actor. I just did music. <laughs> <laughs> Wes, Wes did uh, Wes did a little bit of uh, of, of uh, voiceover on the game as well. He voiced a couple of oh, these God. characters. Uh, I think uh, oh I think this this character here, uh, Arcanism was played by our buddy uh, Alex uh, Octopimp. I believe did him. We're gonna hear uh, a character in a second. Um, and uh, yeah, so these were all I, I animated these like a few years ago. Now it's crazy how long it's been already, but. Uh, yeah, we they have, look clean. We have uh, we have a hundred over a hundred and fifty different unique uh, backer characters in the entire game, uh, and uh, and that's all thanks to a lot of the lovely people that are probably in the chat watching right now and have picked up their copies and things. Uh, my God, I'm gonna throw a twisty top at him. Here's the sound of how you do twisty top, rotating the. <laughs> the arrow keys. <laughs> we mentioned this game is recommended to be played with a gamepad. <laughs> yes, although I've been playing with a keyboard and I got way better with uh, with a keyboard as of late. And you wonder why your hands are broken. Well, <laughs> I mean, what can I say? <laughs> Stop killing me. <laughs> Play better. Uh, Lord. Twisty Top is a lot more fun with a controller. Just saying. Yes, because you can rotate it. Uh, voice actors, you got you got any other uh, any other little anecdotes about your characters that you really liked? 
Um, I mean, I mentioned this to you. Uh, I, th I don't know if you even like, uh, you were like, hey, are you comfortable being in this game? I was like, yes, obviously, first. Uh, or if you were like, oh, I know who I want you to be. But I did mention you at some point. I was like, I love ver voice and bird boys. That's my, that's my self-assigned um, archetype. <laughs> archetype. Yeah. It's like if, if you have any birds, and you're like, I have several birds. I was like, great. I'd like to voice all of them. That's true. Yeah. You you literally played. I think almost except for maybe one of the monster enemies that was like a like an ice bird thing. Uh, an ice bird, not an iceberg. Haha. -ha. Uh, I think you did literally every single like bird NPC in this entire game, uh, which was pretty remarkable because of how many. Goes to show how many that there were in the whole thing. <laughs> I love that Hattie is androgynous. I love it. Mm -hmm. Originally. Uh, I shouldn't have gone so easy on. Oh, that's uh. Malcolm Ray. Oh no, I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, we didn't even get to hear. Oh, no. We didn't. We didn't even get to hear uh, Emerald Zero have the darkness overflow. Oh. Oh, I will have to try. I'll have to try <laughs> That's him again. Okay. That's all right. We'll, all right, we'll rush back. Um, I believe I've got coded so that like when you do refight them, you should be able to hear the voice clips you had weren't able to get in that first fight. Yes. Oh. Yeah. 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 God bless you. That's a great. Any, anyone who fight? takes. Anyone who takes the time to code like, oh, you've heard these voice lines more. We're going to swap it out. You're an angel. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It. Well, because, well, you know, of course, one of the things we wanted to do is since, you know, one of the big draws of the game is that all the characters get to have speaking lines. Uh, the, the ones that, that were part of that, that was part of the reward that they donated for. You know, we want to make sure that everybody would get to hear them, and of course. So, you know, when I wrote all the dialogue for the different backer characters and things, you know, I wanted to have fun with the voices and stuff and have them all be kind of fitting to what they're supposed to be and stuff. All right, let's rematch. Let's rematch these guys. The, uh, the voice clips you did hear, they should not replay, but if you, like, for, like, Emerald Zero having a, a line when he's KO'd, that one should still be available once you KO him for the first time. Yeah. Um, it's funny, uh, I, I'm still trying to keep an ear out for a bunch of them, but like Kaylee, for instance, like, you, uh, you got to do like, I think like maybe 20 different characters in the whole game. Um, you know, like you, like a lot of the others, like everybody kind of had to pull a lot of their weight in terms of, uh, characters and things. And I'm like, alright, how many accents can you do? How many, you know, uh, like different, like, like ranges in your, in your, in your voice can you get through and you gotta make them all like differentiated as much as possible, <laughs> so... Well, Kaylee's good at that. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Stop being nice to me, Faye. Too much. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> Crunch. Melly, Melly, talk about <laughs> Jesus Christ. Melly, talk about oh, GameSoft man. a little bit. What do you What do you love about GameSoft? Oh man. Uh, well, you might, you may not know it from my repertoire, but uh, not you, but people listening. Uh, but I'm a very high energy, loud Brooklyn girl. Next time. Uh, so it took us a minute to calibrate Softy's voice and personality, mm -hmm. but um, but something I really connected with, and I think it comes back to, like you know, my favorite kind of voice acting. I'm not trying to like pat myself on the back or anything, but like my favorite kind of voice acting is when you can really, really hear that the person speaking is listening and responding to the person that they're in scene with. Right. And so my favorite moments for GameSoft is when she starts to analyze a scene and kind of get in her head and she gets a little quiet and starts talking through what she's observed about the enemies that they're fighting and what that might imply about their weaknesses. Those were my favorite lines with the character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one, one of the... Such... Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, that's such a more thoughtful and interesting answer than I like my guy because he is a bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be hey, fair, with birds. to be fair, she had like like five times the amount of stuff that you had to do. So when you spend that much time with the character, of course. Um, oh, jeez, I'm not trying to send shots across the bow here. Oh, so, oh stop, stop. No, you're all, you're all lovely. Uh, well, no, it's funny because, you know, one of the major traits, of course, that, um, you know, I really wanted to have be super prominent for uh, Softy in particular was the fact that she's very astute. She's very, very, like, uh, observant about different things. And the other characters are like, oh, I didn't think of that. That's a good idea. Like, that's, that's, that's commonly, like, a thing that happens with her where, like, you know, she'll come up with, despite the fact that she is, um, very also, like, demure and, and you know, very shy and soft-spoken and everything, you know, the kind of MO that I've always had for, like, every incarnation of Game Crazed and then Game Soft, of course, is, um, is that, like, the character speaks up when, when, like, something is important and needs to be said. And so, um, taking kind of a very different approach with the RPG version of her, 
um, you know, that kind of analytical, like, thoughtful sort of, you know, strategist. A- as- yeah, aspect to her. Like, and you see that over the because she doesn't. This isn't much of a spoiler. This is kind of seen in the first chapter. She doesn't join the Dandy Alliance right away. She comes in a little bit later on in the story. Um, and, uh, and so then you get to see kind of like how her dynamic is built with Flamey as well, because Flamey's of course like, you know, the, the de facto leader and everything. And, um, and yeah, bu- building that character over the course of like all the recording that we did, I, 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 I'm so pleased with, and you really, really rock Softy so much, I can't express that enough, seriously. I love our interactions. Yeah, but it was fun. There, there were definitely a lot of challenges. Like I said, I, I come in the room and, and Chris was like, okay, so... It doesn't need to be like anything you've heard before. Make the character your own. Use your own voice, your own instincts. And I'm like, all right, let's go. And he's like, okay, we're going to need to back it off by like 30. Uh, certainly so. Well, and of course, yeah, I, I wanted to have everybody, you know, have the room to creatively do their own thing. Um, and uh, by the way, real quick, I need to I need to put the brakes on something because... Uh, uh, since it was it was this lovely lad's birthday yesterday, uh, here is uh, what? Jonah Scott as Serpentine, who is uh, one of my favorite characters because he's just so so ridiculous and so much fun. Everybody, take a listen to him real quick. <laughs> I thought I smelled a dubious dragon careening through these caverns. An old enemy rears its head. Oh Lord. Serpentine! A sore sight for this night's eyes! What evil deeds are thou committing in such a dark place? Should it not be ours? <laughs> the Queen has allowed for a fitting specimen such as myself to enter the walls of Cord's castle. Thusly, I am searching for my proof of nobility in the form of those gems that I am sure you're also feebly scavenging for. My proof of nobility! <laughs> I love the way he said nobility! <laughs> Like 70%, so 70% Jonah, 40% Tim Curry. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. I oh love my it. god. By the way, I love this line as well. Can you guys either fight or make out or whatever? <laughs> I, I have to commend, I, I gotta say real quick. Um, well, you know, actually, with, with both of these guys. Kerberfer and Nylock in particular are, of course, you know, big fan favorite characters. Kerberfer means so much to me for a multitude of reasons, as I'm sure you all can guess, and I know a lot of people were very surprised about, like, it's not you anymore, this is weird. Um, but of course, when um, the decision came to go with a whole new voice cast for this game, uh, I'm gonna match this and let the players see the rest of it for themselves. Um, excuse me. I wanted to make it so that it was even and and not personal to anybody, and of course, my way of doing that was, you know, to not include myself, and so therefore I felt, okay, well then, I'm not going to voice Kerber for I'll have somebody else do it, but I wanted to be very particular about that, and I'm so happy that I was able to get Aaron. Uh, I've been a huge fan of his work, literally since both he and I were kids. Uh, you know, I, I grew up with his work on Full Metal Alchemist and everything back in the day, and he's just such a wonderful guy, uh, and I... I cannot believe that he honored me by taking on my my character as well and of course in addition uh nylock is arguably the most beloved character in all of tome and uh i needed somebody brilliant to take on him as well and uh and mick absolutely delivered on that so i I, you know i I, mick i know is busy uh filming something right now i think he might be able to join us very briefly later if he's around um but uh but no 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 guarantee on that necessarily um and, uh, and it's funny because of just so many people that like I've a lot of a lot of folks that I've known for many years, like from like my Newgrounds days, and you know from just my early you know time in doing voiceover professionally and things, and uh, and other folks that like I, I dreamed of working with, with for years, and it's like oh my god, I can't believe that they're all they're all in my game, bringing these characters to life. It blows my mind. <laughs> so I, I uh, yeah, I remember when we met. Um... I think you saw we were both going to the same convention and you were like, hey, we should meet. And one of the first things I said to you, I was like, oh yeah, I used to watch your shit on Newgrounds. And you were like, oh, was it Brawl Talks? <laughs> and I was like, no, I really, I really liked your Super Mario Rawest Forest video. You're like, oh, thank God. Okay, thank, thank God, yeah. Brawl yeah, something that I'm actually proud of. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I got, I gotta, I gotta be real. I was. It took me a minute to get used to the fact that you aren't playing Curb, mm-hmm. but the fact that it led you to play such an amazingly accurate and theatrical portrayal of myself. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I did I did play a, a couple of the backer characters myself. I took a few of the ones that I really liked, and uh, one, one of which was uh, Azure Knight, which is uh, Adam's character based off his, uh, his lead guy from Shattered Heaven, his web series as well. So uh, that, that was a joy. <laughs> and I got to hear the portrayal, and I was like, I hate you. <laughs> I can't, I can't uh... When you wrote this, I was that dramatic, so I was like, okay. Uh, it's all with love, I promise. If anything, oh, no. it, 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 is, it is funny because Kerber for the character makes fun of a lot of the other, like, uh, backer characters during battle. And I remember, like, early on when we were in production, I, 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 like, made, like, an open call to everybody saying, like, Hey, uh, sorry if I offend anybody, if I'm making fun of your character. It's, it's not, like... It's all in jest, but all the backers were like, "No, we want to get picked on by Kerber. Are you kidding me? That's the whole point. Like, that's part of the fun." And I'm like, "All right." <laughs> so, good lord, um, Faye, Faye, Faye. What's up? Tell me about Flame Girl. Tell me what you like about Flame Girl. Flame Girl. Um. So, is this a spoiler? Like her ethnicity? Uh, no, actually, it's not. Okay. That's pretty cool that she's a Filipino. Yeah! And I am too, so... Yeah. Half Filipino, that's, that's actually. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's very, very interesting. Um, and she she has a lot of facets to her, and it was really fun being able to play all of those, going on a journey with her. There's, there's a lot to her, and, and she has heavy secrets and everything. Mm -hmm. Wants to keep everybody together, she has to lead. It's stressful, but she can't, you know, fall apart. Um, she's got... She, ha she has a big heart. There are a lot of people that are very important to her. Mm -hmm. And, um... I don't know. There's... Th I, th I just thought... I thought she was a, she was a fun character to play. <laughs> and emotional. At times. Yeah. Up, I, think your, I think your stream might have frozen both on... Like, it looks like... You're still moving, but the game is frozen on both our end. And yeah, is that a freeze and then it froze? It's uh, <clears throat> like a freeze attack. Uh, hey, let's uh, let's shift focus to something <laughs> else now, everybody. That wasn't because the game froze <laughs> and crashed. Not yeah, so about Flame Girl. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about Flame Girl, man. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Uh, I was like, yeah, Curb, I love I love ice and water and blue. And he was like, how about Flame Girl? How about a fire like, character? You know what? <laughs> this is so this is so intriguing. I'm gonna pause the game of my own volition. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. And not because there was a crash. Not at all. Of course not. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, hey, how about, uh, well, we still have so many folks here. How long have we been going for already? Oh, we've already been going for almost an hour. Holy crap. Okay. Um, so I, I will, I will peck back. You know, it's funny because I didn't want to show, show the full level anyway. So maybe that was my EXE being like, stop showing the rest of the stage. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it as a sign. So anyway, uh, nonetheless, uh, let's take a little break. How about, um, yeah, let's take some questions from, from the audience. Um, I know that we have people on both uh, Twitch and on YouTube right now as well, uh, so we'll uh, we'll go through that while, while you guys ask some get some questions lined up in the chat. Um, who have we not heard from? Who have we not heard from? Wes, are you, you're still in here. Uh, oh, I'm absolutely still yes, in here. Yes, please. What was uh, were were there any particular uh, tracks from the game? In fact, maybe I can even pull them up if you like. Uh, were there any particular pieces of music from the game that you really were proud of and enjoyed? Uh, let me think. It's been a while. Like, That's actually, true. Yeah, I, did, yeah. I did the brunt of my work like in the beginning. I feel like, That's and, then true, it, yeah. and then like two more years passed. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see. What did I work on? I think, uh, you know, growing up and what kind of got me into making music to begin with was just like rpg battle music that was like my thing i loved rpg battle music i loved just listening to it just like having an entire playlist of just battle music in a video game so when you had this rpg being able to do some of the battle music was really really fun those were like my favorite ones so like the we didn't get to hear it here because i think what the music is uh different per area they're in mm -hmm. or 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 island or i forget how it's set up right you know um, but, uh, yeah, making the, the different battle musics, uh, for this game was that, that's like, 
That's all I could ever ask for when it comes to music. Just make me just have me do battle music. That just is it. Just just make me do battle music. Well, and it's funny because you did a, a few different um, uh, like of the of the battle themes, and particularly the one of the first ones that you added back when we did the prototype demo was you actually did a remix of I, what I think was one of your first battle themes uh that of yeah. course was very prominent in the show and because because i think a lot of hardcore fans know this already but that that tune was not originally made for tome that was for another like it was like a canceled project it was just yeah on. yeah it was just some like like i was like 15 years old and i'm like <laughs> I mean, here's the oc thing that has music and stuff you know like so it, it, the project didn't go anywhere but like yeah i, I made those for this thing that i had on like deviant art and then uh, we just kind of used it for your show, and then I made like I think like two other remixes of it, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, and I remember you, you. I don't think you originally asked me to make a remix of that song for this game. You just, just submitted that as the battle theme, and I'm just like, I'm cool with that because I love it. So <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm glad because like that one was, um, that one is one of my favorite ones I did for this. Was definitely like the uh, battle against, uh, I guess, like the backer characters or player characters or however it's framed in the game, like that one. Um, it's the it's a remix of the battle grid music from your your show like mm -hmm. that one was definitely one of my my favorite ones to do and then um one of the things that i i um i really also enjoyed was actually getting to arrange the battle musics that uh, all the other composers were doing that was yes. really fun yes so. indeed yeah 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 uh the cast of dreams battle theme which uh yoav uh crafted which was fantastic uh, and then a lot of other people got to remix yours, like uh, the uh, what was it? The, the Troublemakers theme was remixed, I think, five different times in total. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, God, what else? Um, oh, the the um, the the uh, Tales of the Terrain battle theme, that that big bombastic kind of role player type one, which was fantastic. Loved that. Yeah, that one was uh, really fun. Yeah, loved those. Yeah, there's uh, the OST when when it comes out later. You guys, good lord, I think there's like close to a hundred tracks in the whole thing and it is incredible wow. I, i'm like yeah but with like all the actual like uh tracks themselves and also some of the stuff that we had for the cutscenes and things we had lots of great guests uh, a couple people from the silver gunner channel as well um a few other people so many yeah, austin matthews tweeted today he did an awesome remix for one of the secret boss fights um so yeah uh super cool um uh, I'll uh, I'll um, go to the I'll go to this one first because somebody sent a super chat for it. Lord Gamermon, thank you for the five dollars super chat. Asking, uh, how is it like writing for and recording the voices of the new victors? Uh, so the new victors are a group of villains uh, who are appear towards actually kind of the last part of the game. Uh, Kalamari, which is Kaylee's character, her kind of like main one of the many that she did. Um, they're uh, they're actually pretty like low key, very quiet, very professional. Um, the, uh, the three of them are actually, uh, Akilamari, Abamaton, and Technote were actually some of our high tier, uh, uh, $500 backers that we had on the Kickstarter campaign, uh, which was amazing. And, uh, and then Neo Mutant, who's their leader, um, you know, just very cool and, you know, kind of, you know, badass kind of, uh, mentality. And he's voiced by Chris Zito, uh, who voiced, uh, Neo Mutant in TTA in, like, 2004, all those years ago. He was one of the first people that I worked with who was, like, really taking voiceover seriously. He's a fantastic guy. He does a lot of stuff with the Team Four Star guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, so they were, they were pretty easy to write for because they were just kind of meant to be, like, this very imposing, like, badass professional kind of um you know presence like they don't they don't actually talk too too much but but when they're there it's like oh man they're here oh gotta you know make sure i'm, I'm on my game and not get taken out by them so um jacob tucker thank you for the five dollar super chat chris how has it been getting to cast many high profile voice actors on this game uh and voice actors favorite moments in tome non-spoiler uh i mean how has it been? It's been amazing. I can't believe they all said yes. <laughs> I, I can't believe you guys did this, and I'm so grateful for it. So thank you for that. Um, I, uh, I do. Do you guys have a particular favorite moment that you can think of, uh, kind of scattered throughout? A lot of my favorite moments are spoilers. For yeah, me, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I loved every scene with Nylock. <laughs> <It was just laughs> when, so much fun. When you would get to really. play play along with him if you could choose if yes! you want to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I loved being able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. yeah. I said I said yes in a heartbeat. So I'm just so happy to be here. For uh, favorite moments for GameSoft, I um 
I don't know if we can say I, half of yours. <laughs> this is going to be super, super vague. I, I love, I love the way that she interacts with the rest of her team, especially when it comes to uh, talking uh, about their different abilities. Mm -hmm. Oh, when they form the team attacks, you mean? Yes, 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 that's okay, right. Good. I that's wasn't right. sure how much I could go into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's something we've talked about. Yeah, when you get an orb of unity item and you form a team attack between two characters, they have a little, like, uh, Tales of style uh, conversation with each other, and there's a different combination for each duo of characters. Um, yeah, and those exchanges so, were great. Yeah, those are very cute. I, lo I love getting to it. That, that was actually some of the first uh, stuff that we had where I could hear the two characters, like, talking together with each other, which was awesome, so... Uh, I saw a good question of uh, a mechanics question. Do dialogue choices or at least certain ones affect the story in any significant way or are they mostly just flavor text? Yes, they do. Actually, there are uh, several moments that are very key uh, and they're kind of spelled out in terms of like uh, exactly you know what will happen with it and but so it's it's spelled out that like this is a choice that matters uh i believe one tip off is that you might have seen in er one of the dialogue choices earlier there was a timer for how long you had to make a selection for the ones that are important we do not have a timer right yes yes uh but otherwise usually there's the little circle bar it's funny i'll even tease uh and morgan i know that this was something that we really enjoyed recording together without giving too much away there's a certain side quest that is entirely di uh, dialogue based um, and, uh, and every, every single choice you make in that one in particular really, really matters. Uh, so that's one that, uh, where, where it's like, it's very prominent. It's like, make sure you're really thinking about what you want to say to this character. Um, yep. so that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was fun. And that was of course with, uh, a certain very good friend of ours. Uh, that was very cute to hear the two of you guys kind of going back and forth each, with each other as well. So, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> So if you watch me stream this game at any point, you'll get to watch me sit there for like an hour and a half for every one of those decisions. <laughs> oh yeah, well, well you won't have an hour and a half because those are timed, so. Oh, and, and by the way, that's a great that's a great uh, segue to mention real quick, by the way. I know um, uh, a few people in the in the, the call right now have talked about uh, streaming the game. I've, I, I, I went to everybody was like, I need help with marketing and promotion. Can anyone help? And uh, a few folks I know are uh, planning on streaming the game on... Um, their uh, their Twitches and YouTubes and things, uh, so I'm sure go if, go follow all of these lovely folks. I'll let everybody plug their social media uh, whenever they want to head out. Um, but uh, but yeah, Mel Melly, I know you play you want to play the whole game like start to finish. I think yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hell yeah. Um, let's see. I saw. Where's some other yeah, I'll probably be starting either tomorrow or next Friday. Cool. And just cool. kind of take it. Little bits at a time. My week is typically pretty busy, so it's oh, gonna yeah. be, you know, a long oh, play. She's got so much to do all the time. What can you say? Uh, <sighs> let's see, let's see. Oh, anyone have a favorite uh, backer character that they voiced if they remember? Uh, let's see. Well, Faye, this was funny. Uh, you voiced your own backer character, actually. You and Alejandro both. Uh, donated to the Kickstarter and got to voice your own characters. Yeah, gotta <laughs> just... support yeah. you, my dude. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so uh, so r rumor, you're you're a very adorable uh, blue dragon girl. Uh, yeah. Who's, uh, I think she's pretty early on in the game too, if I'm remembering correctly. So you'll be able to Is hear she? her. Yeah, I think so. I think she's in the first nice. chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, do I fight her? No. No, she no, right? she's not fightable. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I wish I could have made. Just like, beat the whole party anyway. Well, that's yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Brendan, Kaylee, do you, guys, do you guys remember? I, I actually have to head out. Though. Oh, okay, no problem. Th th yeah. Thank you, thank you for coming. I super appreciate you, and I'll, I hope I'll see you again soon. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Uh, Bye. Have fun, everybody. Go follow I'm Faye, God, Faye on, on Twitter and Twitch. At, you're at Faye Mata on everything, right? Yeah, it's just Faye Mata on cool, everything. Cool. Awesome, awesome. I'm on Twitch, I'm on Twitter, but if you follow my Twitter, it's just, it's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of well, lots of lots of I, funny, I just funny videos. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> you got you to gotta see that. Oh. Oh my god! Uh, but but Twitch is pretty wholesome. It's pretty wholesome. You do you do like yeah. feel feel good Fridays and stuff, and I'm like, oh, you're so yeah wonderful. yeah yeah oh Friday god. flex. I'll cool. be doing it tomorrow. Alrighty. All right. Well, okay. have fun, everybody. Bye. Great job. Great work, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Soon. Bye. Uh, yeah, Kay Kaylee and Brendan, do you guys remember any of like the other little bits that you did? Any any that stick out in your mind is cute. 
I remember one was Australian, and that was awesome. <laughs> That's right. Because that, was it that you lived in Australia for a while, I think, right? I did for like half a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know if they're... Oh, you know what? Hold up. I don't know if they're here, but... Uh, Maladaptive Mongoose, if you're in the chat, uh, Kaylee voiced your character, and I made sure to have her be Australian, because I know that you're from Australia. If you happen to see this, she's been a long-time uh, Tome fan, so... I also made sure uh -huh. to give you a lot of cute uh, magical girls... Of course, yes. because you just yes. are one. So, oh, Nathan, do you have do you have to head off? <laughs> yeah, I've okay, probably okay. been away from my post for a little too long. I have seen some. Oh, in, yeah, uh, no, no, don't, don't don't worry about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that later. But but hey, dude, thank you, thank you so 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 much. Seriously, oh my god. Uh, Before I leave, I do want to say something. Uh, yeah. You've spent a lot of time talking about all the great contributions everyone's made to this project, mm -hmm. and they have. But I also want at least someone to chime in and talk about the contributions you put in. Mm -hmm. Like you are, what you were 100% not like some guy just giving orders on high. Like yes, create my dream project. You were there in the trenches. You were doing, you were testing the game, doing debugs, uh, doing debugging yourself when you were able to. Mm -hmm. um, like you did all the cutscene choreography, wrote, wrote the game script, did all the art, obviously. And uh, you've put in a heck of a lot of work, and you deserve for this game to be a success. Thank you, buddy. Well, I again, this would not have happened without you. Uh, so yeah, I, I had what to I'm at. Chris was working on this so damn hard that I had to take him to ER for broken hands. <laughs> I'm literally wearing these right now because of how much it screwed up my body. So uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, good lord. Um, well, Nathan, thank you, buddy. Uh, again, everybody, go follow him on Twitter, Game Dev Nathan. Because uh, some cool stuff is going to be on the horizon for him, and uh, and yeah, thank you, buddy. I, I uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Okay. All right. Have a fun, everybody, and all hope right. you all enjoy the game and the rest of the stream. Okie dokie. Bye. bye. Uh, also, Des Whitmore, uh, thank you for the two dollars super chat. Is there ever going to be a Discord for Tom? Uh, I am not going to be running any like of my own fan communities or any or anything, but I know that there are some out there, and if. Uh, people want to start some, please, please, by all means, you know, spread the word and stuff. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, Heroes Path asked, uh, were there any backers that were the hardest to code or nerf rather due to movesets? Um, there, uh, oh, you know what, Brendan, one of the characters that you voiced, the, uh, uh, the, the, one of the bird guys that you played, he was like the kind of New Yorker one. Um, in that stage, uh, which is part of Chapter 3, there were, uh, all, all of those backer groups were, like, incredibly difficult to fight against, and, like, that's where, like, the difficulty curve just goes, like, way up all of a sudden. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, uh, the, the, so the Chapter 3 stuff in particular were probably the most challenging, and we had to adjust those a lot. You'll, you'll find, you'll know them when you get up to them. So, uh, let's see. How much fun was I having while making the game? Electric Racer 26 asked. Uh, I was having the time of my life. I was, uh, I was so, it was so much fun to do. It was hard. It was a lot of really, really, really hard work. Uh, but, you know, I'm so incredibly grateful that I got to do it, you know? Uh, it, it was amazing. And uh, the fact that, like, every morning I got to wake up and I'm like, oh my god, I'm making my dream project. This is insane to me. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm... I'm so grateful that like I was able to do that for four years and and then and finally share it with all of you guys. It's it's truly amazing. Um, to piggyback off of that, someone else earlier asked what was the most exciting part of making the game. So what would you say was the most fun thing you got? To oh do man, uh, well probably a toss up between doing all the character animation, like all the backer characters and stuff, like especially the the the, the fully animated enemy ones. That was a total trip to do that. Uh, that also almost broke my arms a few years ago. That was a little bit before we met Brendan. Um, so that was a ton of fun. And then also, of course, the voice recording process and directing everybody was uh, just so, so cool to do. And, and, and you know, uh, if, if obviously the leads had hours and hours. You know, Melly and Morgan, you guys had, like, you know, multiple sessions to get through. And then, um, you know, Brendan and Kaylee and a few of the others, we were able to just kind of knock things out in about an hour or so. Um, but, uh, the editing afterward was not so much, and that's what then put me back into the hospital. <laughs> um, but, uh, 
but yeah, that was uh, th th those two parts were definitely made. And, and also the scripting process too in the earlier days when I was like actually, um, you know, setting up the full story and everything. That was great, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super super happy with how the story turned out in the end. So, um, Black Dragon Knight. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, real quick. Black Dragon Knight asked about outside of the characters themselves, any subtle hints or Easter eggs of TTA or the Tome web series? Yes, absolutely. If you know the past incarnations of the series, you will get those references without a doubt. So trust me. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Melly. Sorry for interrupting you. Sam, by the way, it is it is just stunning to see every single character have a completely unique animation set. That just mm. continues to blow me away. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, you know I wanted to uh, I wanted to make sure that they all. Th I, you know, I wanted it to feel like a living, breathing world with tons of different characters and things. And, um, you know, so, so making them all unique animation wise and giving all of them different voices and things, um, you know, because that's, it's my, it's my way of expressing my gratitude to all the people who, uh, you know, who donated to have their characters be part of this part of my world. Uh, so yeah, it, yeah, it was, it was truly incredible. Um, to offshoot that actually, I, I like a lot of the stuff that you did with the characters and how to make it feel like it's an actual MMO, mm -hmm. like. Hey, look! I mean, you did this to me on purpose when you were, when I was beta testing. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, go put a name in. It's like, okay. And then how like certain names, you know, if they're in the game in universe. Wow. There. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because of course, yeah, we had you know tons and tons of characters. We had to make sure you couldn't repeat the names of, so uh, we couldn't screw up anything with the AI or whatever. <laughs> so. It was, a, it was a cool little. It was a cool little thing. Yeah. It makes sense. All right, I'm going to I'm going to load another save data file and uh, <laughs> take us to another level that we can play through. That's well, really fun. I wish can I you could imagine stick loading around, up like oh, second. Sorry, oh. I I have a thing in 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm that's okay. Out. Morgan, do you have any last few words you want to share with folks? Uh, well, thank you, Chris, for letting me a part of this letting me be a part of this amazing game and um, it's, I'm honored. I am truly honored to be in a great title with such amazing actors, and you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, Morgan, you're lovely. I'm sorry I haven't gotten to see you in so long because of just life getting in the way. But, yeah, we'll uh, make something happen. We'll get coffee real. or something oh, For soon. real, for real. All right, well, thank you for being my, my, my lovely white hat hacker. Um, thank you. And uh, I hope you get to play the game for yourself if you get the chance. Um, yes, please. And, uh, and good luck with your session. I'll see you again soon, okay? Thank you. See you All guys. Right. Bye, friends. Bye. Alrighty. Next up, let's let's go to a casino level because this someone, is someone. Uh, oh, yeah. Someone asked what your favorite area to design in the game was of the regions. Ooh. Uh, I would say my favorite was uh, the one that was also the most challenging. Oh, by the way, sorry, sorry, real quick because oh, sorry, hold on. Let me do one thing at a time. Uh, here, I'm going to reshare. Uh, before I answer that, remember when I mentioned uh, we have references to things that happened during June 2020? Uh, here's a, here's a, I don't know how subtle or not so subtle this reference was, but uh, here's, here's something that was going on during that time a year ago. Earlier today, I went down this long checkerboard hallway and got chased by this giant floating head. Man, it was terrifying. You think that's scary? I'll show you, Scary. Today, I saw an alien. Uh, in the game, that is. Huh. Maybe every copy of Tome is personalized. We're all on <laughs> one big server, right? Y'all just being superstitious. If anybody gets that reference, <laughs> you're a cool person. Oh my god. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, Orange Island, I would say, was, uh, was probably... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Also, Kaylee, here's you. Here's one of the characters that you played. Here's a tip, stay away from that place. I was curious and stopped by, but it's nothing but slop. Oh, sorry, I heard you. I was like There's across no the room for a minute. What? Oh, well, you just finished talking, but here was one of the characters that you played, Kirio. This is one of the backers that you voiced. I bet you ten oh. that it's all front for something else. There's got to be something more to it than just slots. And there's Alex Gross as well. It was funny. You and you and Alex like ended up kind of being in a lot of the same like groups together just by by happenstance. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Orange Island, which was the fourth and final region of the game that you go to, I would say without a doubt that was like 
probably the the most fun and it was the most challenging because it's like it's a tropical island region uh so there's no real like um i guess like consistency to the themes it could just kind of be whatever uh so that made it like more and more challenging for me to figure out like okay then then what exactly what am i going to do for each of these stages and we had like you know a shipwreck and a beach lagoon and like a suburban town uh and a hotel a haunted hotel like all these different kind of weird things um so yeah but uh this game has a really interesting like this is probably because the combination of when the original franchise was like incepted to now like looking at this it kind of reminds me of habo hotel a little bit just like the isometric energy yeah the, so it's the, got this go ahead go ahead uh, no, I, was, go. I was gonna say it's got this really fun like early 2000s vibe to it which is kind of uncommon in media yeah well the the isometric uh that was a hundred percent because i wanted to make it be like super mario rpg oh, of course um you, you know here. so that was Sweet. uh that was that was absolutely what influenced the the visual direction of how i wanted to go oh, with really things <laughs> but um here we have alpha at the gold hat and casino by the way uh for this part of the game uh, our heroes are collecting, uh, one million bincho bucks, which is a, uh, special, um, uh, currency that they need to collect to enter a press conference. So Alpha, who's our resident good boy that is, um, offered to, uh, uh, be the treasurer of the Dandy Alliance, um, he has gone ahead and, uh, gone over to this casino level to hang out and let people just come over and, you know, give them their totals of Bencho bucks that they find, and, uh, you know, he's just sitting around and, you know, playing through all these slot machines as much as possible just to rack up the money as much as possible. Sure is. Let's do it. I'm gonna go back to the machine I was at. Come find me. Off he goes. Alright. So you've got these you've got these main characters aside from White Hat, obviously. Do they have different like archetypes mechanically? Like is like is Nylock your heavy hitter and someone's your mage, or can they all kind of fill whatever role? Yeah, so uh in certain senses a little bit of both actually. Um so like for example, uh Nylock's I think like like main stat is uh, physical defense, so he's very tanky and good for uh, defending against physical attacks, but he's a little bit weaker to magic. Uh, and I think GameSoft has better defense against uh, magical attacks and things like that. Um, Alpha has the highest speed, so often he gets to go first in a lot of the matches, things like that. So they all do have kind of a stat, and they do have the uh, classes and races that are within the game sort of rules and everything as well, um, so that they kind of go with that. And... Um, yeah, so they all have kind of have their different specialties. However, uh, for each stage, um, generally you don't get to pick which ones that you're going to have for every level necessarily, um, because they're kind of predetermined based on how the story goes. So, like for instance, this yeah. is uh, this is a level where you just play with uh, with Alpha by himself. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, so kind of exploring around here. Hey, that's a certain familiar bartender, isn't he? Huh. Eh, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> go go talk to him when you play the game for yourselves, everybody. Um, let's go join Alpha like over this here. This one's my lucky seat, so I'm gonna stick with it. Let me know if you hit any jackpots. If you run out of bincho bucks, just go bug the robot over by the back wall and they'll toss you a refund. All right, guys, I hope we can uh, win it big on this totally not rigged slot machine. Here we go. And uh, ah. And, ah, and come on, baby, come on. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, and now the slot machines are coming to life and attacking me. Well, that's lovely. We had any other <laughs> questions? I haven't been able to look at the chat for a little bit. Uh, I, I had a few. I was, like, picking them out. Um, do, 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 do. I guess I already asked most of the ones that I had saved to fill time slots. Um, someone asked, what's your favorite song in the game? But Ooh. God, uh, you know, uh, I really do have a lot. Uh, I, I actually kind of had one by each of the kind of main composers. Um, Wes, I mean, Wes, obviously, con he composed Skyther Shadows 1 and all the different remixes of that that I love. That that tune in particular is very special to me because it's been with us throughout this all four years of production and everything. 
Um, and uh, I love push and shove, which is the theme of the uh, regional event battles. And uh, and uh, people have heard push and shove from the trailer that we put out a little while ago that had all the voice cast on it. So. Pincho has oh, who is got this? eyes and ears on every inch of this place. If you want to see the real deal, take a look behind the posters up on the wall. Interesting. Huh. Um. But, uh. What was I just saying? Good lord, I lost my complete train of thought. Uh. Songs, music, songs, yes. Yes, uh. Crystal Barrel Kingdom, which we were at earlier, uh, yeah. is definitely, um. A, uh. Uh, uh, my, my favorite Hubtown theme, for sure. Um, and then actually, uh, but those of you who don't know, uh, Brendan's sister, uh, Plaster Brain, is a also fantastic musician. She did the music for Epithet Erased and a lot of the, uh, this is basically, um, uh, videos as well. And, uh, she did the music for the Orange Island, uh, region. And, uh, her battle theme, uh, which I've been using for a few different videos, that that's another one of my absolute favorites. It's such a good theme, and uh, and well, we had like a kind of like a like a sixteen guess, bit style remix of it that was done by one of the Silver Gunner guys as well. So those those were awesome. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to share the uh, the OST with you guys for sure. <laughs> it's just a game anyway. Uh, well, let's go check what's around the corner, huh? <laughs> Alejandro Saab, who I, was wonderful. <laughs> I, I got an audition from him for something recently, and uh, like two for different things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I love he used he had such a distinct um, slate on his auditions, and he changed it recently. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it used to be Alejandro Saab, and now he's got like the the flair of the like. Alejandro Saab. Yeah. Like, oh my God. It's different now. <laughs> I'm from Ecuador. <laughs> we had the cozy ro we had the cozy roaches in uh, the the last world and now we have these cyber roaches in this one. What is that thing on the bottom supposed to be? Uh, it is called a Rotate R, and it's kind of like this sort of like Tron cybery type thing that boosts the stats of a lot of the other enemies and things. And now it's dead. So. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I think so far it seems like the big selling point of this game is that it really does feel like. Like, there's so many unique little encounters like this that I think you did a very good job making it feel like this is actually a uh, a game world that would exist. Yeah, I, I, I want it as much as possible. Uh, uh, one second, inviting another friend. Um, I want it as much as possible for it to feel like a living, breathing world. Um, and, uh, you know, that's the thing is, like, when, when you have... You know, a fan base full of people that are willing to fucking, you know, have their characters in your game world. Uh, you know, that alone is like, oh my god, like, what a, what a unique, you know, opportunity. So, the fact that we have, you know, over 200 unique enemies, uh, all of which that I got to, you know, like, because you can even joke about, like, oh wow, yeah, people giving you, like, free idea materials for, <laughs> for your characters. Um, you know, like, that, that made it, like, so, just so much easier. Uh, to um, to come up with unique and of course we had you know unique enemies as well uh, specific to the tone world and everything um, but uh, yeah so I'm really grateful that like I got to use uh, you know all these different uh, you know unique kind of characters like even just these three right now we have like a little creepy like jester guy we have like just kind of a normal dude with like like a visor we have like this kind of anthro guy with like the jester kind of you know, theme going and everything, it's like, oh my god, like, there's so much, like, unique stuff to, like, the whole world of this, because, yeah, it's meant to be, like, people playing an MMO and having the freedom to, you know, make whatever, you know, characters that they want to make and stuff. Um, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, real quick, so, yeah. uh, Thunder Geese and Chad gave you $10, uh, and they ask, uh, if it's a spoiler, obviously don't mention it, but I was just curious how early the Mysterious Cubes show up. Oh, and oh okay. Um, there, there's a little more, but guy. I was letting this voice line Oh, play. yeah. Um, Here's another thing. Never trust a guy if you can't see his eyes. See? I can make stuff up, too. 
that was a little uh, how reference. early the cubes show up and what are they for found one early on day two felt worried i missed some ah by the way. yes thank you thank you very much for the ten dollar super chat so uh yes the uh there's a very mysterious little item called the rainbow cube um they are necessary for uh getting the 100 percent true ending of the game um they are scattered all throughout the game uh, and if you talk to Complete Boy, uh, the character based on uh, uh, Gerard, uh, Khalil, the completionist, uh, he will give you hints on where you can find them. Um, there's uh, a certain amount in, in, in the whole game. <laughs> Thanks, Matt, uh, doing his uh, cutthroat voice for that, that character a second ago. Um, yeah, so definitely be sure to, uh, to keep an eye out for those. They're scattered all throughout the game. And, uh, in fact, you can even see here at the bottom of my screen, I have six of them collected on this particular file, so, ha ha ha. Also, do we have an Andy? Hi. Hi! Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm doing good, welcome. So glad you could come in and join us. Of course, I am uh, so sorry I had to miss the first two goddamn hours. I had something important I gotta do. No, that is okay. And I'm here. Yes, absolutely. Would you like to introduce yourself to the crowd? Uh, sure. Hi, I'm Andy. Animations, Fey Lions, whatever the hell you know me by. Uh, I did some animation and I worked on some of the cool shit on Tome. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy you've made my dream come true, Curb. <laughs> oh, no. I'm in stop. video game come credits. On. No, you were, you were such a joy to work with, and you also helped a little bit with some testing stuff. And, um, I love being a beta tester. <laughs> and uh, design uh, a very, very top secret character that I can't even give any hints about whatsoever. I know, I can't say shit, but holy, <laughs> I'm so excited to see it. I know nothing about the character, uh, and I know nothing about the story, so I'm so excited to experience this game uh, alongside everyone else. Mm -hmm. well, thanks, for, thanks for coming to hang out with us, I super appreciate it. Of course. How far are you into the game? How many hours do you need to do? Fourteen more. Uh oh. God, what? What in terms of where I'm at in the in the playthrough? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh god. Well, I'm just I'm just kind of jumping around to random levels just to you know show various things. So, uh, <laughs> but um, but uh, this is a, a fun one that I thought would be kind of cool to show. So, eh, there we go. Twisty topping everything. So um, there's rainbow cubes. Is that how I'm gonna get? the part that I worked on? Maybe. Okay. There's a distinct possibility. Looks like I got a hundred... I... I don't... I'm not a completionist, so... I guess well, this is gonna be my time first to start one. becoming one. Yeah, that's right, because actually, I, I, think, so. I think Andy is the first of uh, the, the many people that I, I went to and, and, and begged, like, can you play my game on stream and help me promote it? Uh, I think Andy not, will, will be... You beg. We'll be starting, we'll be starting to play through it, I think, as soon as tonight, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. whenever... I don't know how much I should watch the stream, though. Oh, no, this, this, isn't, this is okay. This, this isn't going to spoil anything crazy. It'll be, oh, okay, it'll be fine. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm making sure not to show anything, like, super important, necessarily, so. Okay. Quite a few more of these guys. We got any other questions or comments or anything from people? Oh, um, on, a lot guys. of people asking yes, if you need to have seen the source material for this game to make Maybe sense, to which I assume the answer is no. No, thankfully, uh, because this is an entirely new continuity that is not connected to the show. Um, it is a, uh, yeah, it's disconnected, uh, from the show. It's a whole new universe. Um, which is also part of the big reason why I, uh, I decided to go with a different voice cast for this version as well compared to the series. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, no, you don't have to know anything about the series. If you do know the show, and, you know, like, and you know these characters already, you'll certainly get, you know, some of the little nods and references and cute things that are kind of scattered uh, throughout as well. Um, but that's not required. Like, so you don't even have to go, like, marathon the show or whatever. I know, I know a few people have been doing that. People have been tweeting me saying, Oh, I'm gonna, like, binge the show again. It's been so long, and, you know, I want to catch myself up with it again. And I'm like, ah, that's fine. You don't have to do that. But, you know, if you want to, that, that's all more, more the merrier, so. Um, I'm not, okay. I'm totally not one of those people. No, of course not. <laughs> no, nope, not at all. Never didn't do that. <laughs> Two more questions. Uh, quicker, easier answer. So it looks like some of your attacks have, uh, sort of Paper Mario-esque action commands when you use them. Is that like in everything, like defense and stuff? Or is it just for, uh, is it a sometimes food? <laughs> uh, actually, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, 
when I finish up this level, I will answer your question with a video that I'm going to take as a, as a little quick break to get myself some tea after I uh, do another quick battle. Um, because, uh, but the short answer is yes. Uh, there there are uh, QTEs for uh, virtually everything, um, but uh, I think with one of the few exceptions is the um, uh, the team attacks. Actually, is uh, the team attacks are just you just execute them and then they just happen and then that's it. Um, so, uh, <coughs> uh, but most of the different, uh, attacks you could do, like for this, for instance, by defending against that little sword guy, uh, I was able to bounce him back, uh, by, by, you know, using the defending, uh, button with good timing. So, yeah, there's a lot of, like, a, there's an active battle system for everything, and, um, you know, you can do, like, extra damage, uh, you know, like, like for this, for this one, here, as an example, I won't do the QTE for this one, you'll see that it does less damage than usual. Yeah, it only hits them the one time, so... Kill this guy, Dev, with Twisty Top. Twisty Top's one of my favorite moves. That thing is so broken, and it got me through testing so <laughs> Bless that move. <laughs> like, hey, Adam, do you want to try a different move? No. No. Twi twisty Top at all. <laughs> yeah. um, a couple people have asked, uh, at any point, will there be any way to, like, mod this game, uh, Steam Workshop support, like, could you hypothetically mod in your own white hat character or whatever? I assume that's not on your roadmap at the moment. No, I, because that's, that's a, that's a world of, uh, gaming that I'm very, very, like, not super familiar with, and honestly, I, I wouldn't recommend messing around with the game's data too much to, to possibly, uh, screw it up because I'm sure probably the fame, the framework is very, very, uh, uh you know, fragile <laughs> with what we were able to do. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend, uh, trying to play around with things for mods. Um, you know, obviously I can't stop people from doing whatever they want to do creatively, of course, but, uh, yeah, I would, I would, uh, you know, I'm not trying to necessarily give, I, I would, we're not planning mod support necessarily. Um, but, uh, but I do hope you still enjoy the game for what it is as normal, so. Uh, someone else asks, how long is the game roughly by developer if standards? If you're looking to gamble both, at the uh, Sun Casino, oh, you're gonna need both a lot of dough and a lot of luck. Between the two of us, we've got plenty of both. And who's to say that, we don't? Was that Kaiser? No, no, that was, uh, that was, who was it? That was... Uh, Octopimp as the blonde guy, and then Mark Swint, I believe, as, uh, the guy with the rice patties hat. Ah, okay. Yes. Oh my god, I uh, love Alex! <laughs> yeah, he's a whole bunch of different NPCs in this game. He's scattered throughout the entire thing. He's come so the, far uh... since Homestuck days. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, uh, that full question was, how long is it by developer standards, both for non-completionist and completionist? So I guess, how long is a any percent run versus a 100 percent run. right um any percent um that's hard to say well uh i would say anywhere from like 20 to 30 hours or so um wow yeah it's a big game but it's also it's not like it's not like final fantasy like you know like hours and hours and hours big necessarily um you know because we, we still wanted to keep it like relatively small um, you know, compared to other RPG experiences. Uh, it's probably closer in length to, say, like, the Paper Mario games, I would say. Um, yeah. so, uh, so, yeah. But, um, alright. So, and now we're gonna move into... Welcome to this mysterious sub-casino. Oh, now this is the real deal. Are you doing alright? Okay, hi. Oh my god, I recognize this place. Where's Where's Takahata? Did I miss that? <laughs> no, we didn't talk to the bartender upstairs necessarily. We'll let people do that. Got it. I'm so lost. I'm so behind. <laughs> All right, guys. Should we try our luck at roulette, blackjack, yes. roulette, blackjack, or slot machine? Slot. Okay. What did you call? What did you just call me? <laughs> All right, here we go. Sure. I'm ready to gamble. I'm here gonna gamble go. all my money away. Here we go. Not looking. Well, that was a bust. 
All right. Nice, we're done. Now you have to look. Looking. <laughs> Good job. All now, right. This is a lot harder to gauge than Super Mario 3. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. One whole Azure fruit. Oh, sorry, I dropped that for a second. We good. We good. Hello, welcome back. Oh, hey, hey. I I see. Uh, I see. We have another gentleman in here. Do Do you want to say hi, sir? No. No. Care to try no. one of our slot machines? I mean, but hello. You just at but you just asked me if I could play one of our slot machines, though. I I I did. Oh, okay. I Maybe you'll ask me if I can uh, if I want to play blackjack. Care for a game of blackjack? Yeah, I think yeah. yeah, I think you're asking me if I want to play blackjack right now. Is that true? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I guess I guess that's what's gotta, happening right now. You gotta start yeah. your stream again. We can't see. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. There we go. Okay. There Whoopsie. Go. Okay. Anyway, hi. Say, uh, introduce yourselves to all the lovely people out there, sir. Uh, ho hello. Uh, it's me. I'm. I'm. My name is Chris Neosi, and I'm the creative domain of Magic Days. And uh, this is my video game. I hope you like it. Uh, I wanted to include gambling mechanics in this game, but I was voted down, so I made this fake gambling to uh, just you know get around ESRB. How's that? Edwin, should Edwin, should we? Uh, should we? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, Chris Neosi, should we uh, yes. hit hit or stand? Hmm. Oh, wait, what's happening here? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, which one are you? Uh, on the on Red? the left. On the left. Oh, uh, stay. You're on seventeen. Definitely oh, okay. stay. Okay. Why would you hit? Why would you hit on seventeen? Oh, look, we lost. You lost us fifty netty. Thanks, man. Oh. oh all right, oh, all right. Here we go. Here we oh. go. One more. One oh, more. No whammies, oh, no, no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. Oh, well. I we're deep in gambling. I, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stand on this one. Yeah, no, I think we're gonna hit. That. I think we're gonna hit. No, we should have hit. Oh, no. Ah, there we go. All right, you're, all right, you're all forgiven. All right, one more game, one more game. Okay. Here we go, here we go. One more game after you win. Yeah, 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 yeah of course, no, it's of course. Game. <laughs> it's yeah. always one more game. Oh, oh, oh. No, well. Man. How about uh, that? Man, I'm a lucky yeah, duck, no. aren't I? Got a hit. Got a hit. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. No, and now time to bet it all away. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, by the way, I need to go give a shout out to the lovely Lizzie Freeman for playing this character. I love her. I might look like a regular little chicken, but I know a thing or two about gambling. Soon Tori okay. will give you little tutorials about uh, various things in the game. So she'll show you uh, just you know basic stuff about the controls and stuff like that, and uh, I love this character because of this gag. Just make sure you don't blow all of your natty. <laughs> <laughs> Although you are a really lucky person, aren't you? Uku! It's my baby. It's your baby, not the <laughs> oh, human version child. of her, though. It doesn't matter, my my child. All right. For a game of roulette. Here we go, guys. Sure. We're gonna bet all of our money. Oh man, who was that? That really handsome oh, no. voice there. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> really, like really hot. Oh, all right, so hot. Okay, I'm betting all of our netty. Hold on, I gotta. Oh, no, oh, at least oh, yeah. you, you have to leave one. Possibly go wrong. No, 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 no. leave oh, one. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh no, no. no. Here, we go. Here, we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hold on, black. hold on. I gotta, I gotta do no. it. I gotta do it by hand. I gotta do it by hand. So give me a second. Put it all back. Red, it all black. red, red. Even sounds like the name of a bully in like an '80s Spielberg Goonies type. Oh movie. no, it's like, Red oh. Even. I, I don't know. This is giving me anxiety. Help! Just leave all one. On. You have to leave one. All on sixty-nine. All on sixty-nine, baby. All right. All right. <laughs> you know what? I'll do it. 1,000. All right. We have one of four choices. What am I picking? I, oh. I, I can't gamble. Uh, I can't do this. Our bully red evens, <laughs> I think. All yeah, right. Man. Here we go. Oh. No he whammies. He's taking our lunch money. So <laughs> if we lose, it's par for the course. Come on, baby. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! 
Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Red e well, now Red Evans has to be a character. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, it looks like oh the god. game's gotta go back into development. You oh boy, another... yeah, have to add a new character. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, let's see here. Well now, what do we have here? Oh. My colic? <laughs> Goodness. I think... Let's uh, let the rest of the players uh, finish this level on their own. So I'll end that one right here. All righty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. All right. Um, so real quick, uh, I need to go make myself some tea because my voice is killing me from uh, an hour and 40 minutes. So let's take a... Let me see how long the little video that I'm going to play is. Let's see here. Uh, oh, actually, I need to... In fact, uh, plug in a thing to even be able to play it in the first place. One moment. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to pull up a little video that I'm going to play for all of us. Uh, and while I go get some tea. But give me one second. Where is that? Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. So... Oh, I unplugged my keyboard and not my mouse. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I, I need the keyboard to do things. Thank you. Uh, Indeed. Uh, uh. Edwin, tell the people who you actually are, how about? <laughs> but I already told you. No, I no, have, no, I but for real. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, fine. You be that way. Behind, uh, what? Oh no, no, it was all lies. I'm sorry, I am not the person behind the terrain of magical expertise. It was not me all along! Oh man, it's, uh, the darkness has, has been released. Hi everybody, I'm Edwin Tiang. Uh, I'm the voice of several characters in terrain of magical expertise. In fact, I've been the voice of several characters in uh, this series since it was the called terrain the of TV Tome Adventures way back in... A time I don't want to think about because that means I am old. <laughs> so old. Uh, but young at heart. Young at heart. It's fine. <laughs> no, not e no, not even that. Not even that. Oh old. lord, it's just very old. Yeah, yeah. That's uh. So I've just been voicing stuff for a long time on the internet. If you were on Newgrounds in the mid-2000s, you probably heard my voice in something somewhere because that's how Newgrounds worked back then, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there were only about uh, five of us that did voices for all of everything ever because, that, yeah, that is exactly how it worked. So <laughs> Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a weird... That was a weird time. Uh, that was good, a weird time. Good lord. All and right. Now, and, yeah. and now after 20 years... I'm finally in my first anime. <laughs> it only took 20 years to get here, but I finally made it, guys. That's I'm an true. anime. That's true. That's true. Am I? Am I? Am I part of the? Am I part of the cool kids club now? You were cooler now than I'm all anime. of us for years, anyway, dude. Don't even worry about oh, it. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Of, it's oh nice of you to lie to me. It's nice of you to lie to me. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a cool little video uh, about uh, some tutorial stuff with uh, how the kind of basic gameplay mechanics work. So we're going to take a quick little 10 minute break and I'm going to play this for you guys. Go get my, uh, my tea real quick and then we'll be back. And then uh, I'm going to show some concept arts uh, for the, all the characters of the game and uh, show kind of the, the early origins of them and everything. So uh, we'll oh, be- so excited. Yeah, so we'll be right back in just a moment and uh, I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. The Terrain of Magical Expertise is a turn-based RPG experience where you must battle against countless rival competitors to seize victory during the Campaign of Champions. To prepare you and your new friends of the Dandy Alliance, let's go over a few of the basics and some advanced tips so that you'll be ready to face any opponent that comes your way. First, a few important things about the controls. When a battle begins, you and your party members, as well as all of your enemies, will enter, and the order in which each character takes their turn is determined by their speed stat. During your or any of your party members' turns, you'll be given a choice of one of four different actions to take. 
Whether or not you play with a controller or a keyboard, each of these four actions are selected and executed using the four face buttons on a gamepad or the WASD keys on a keyboard. The right face button allows you to use strike attacks to physically deal damage to your opponents up close. The left face button accesses your magic techniques, which are unique between each character. The top face button opens your item inventory for usage on either yourself or a party member, and the bottom face button accesses your strategize menu, which allows for an assortment of different things like defending for a full turn, scanning your enemy statistics, or fleeing from battle against monsters. So, say for example you want to use an item to heal one of your party members. You would use the top face button to select items, then scroll through your list using either your control pad or arrow keys to pick the healing item that you want to use, and select it by pressing the top face button again. Then, a cursor will pop up to signify which party member you want to heal. And just like before, you can use the control stick or arrow keys to select the target. Then, finally, you would press the top face button one more time to choose the highlighted party member, and the item will be used. To go back one menu, all you would need to do is press any of the other face buttons to return. The same rule applies to selecting a target to use a strike attack or magic attack on, or using one of your options in the strategize menu. Now, let's hear from our buddy Kerbifer on some of the basics of how the battles themselves work. Alright, so if it wasn't already obvious, the goal is to knock out every enemy on your opposing side of the field, which you do by bringing down their HP or hit points to zero. I know that! Yeah, yeah, just in case. Now let's start with a basic strike attack. Tap the rightmost face button when it's your turn, then tap it again to select me as your target. Strikes can be used at any time to beat down a single opponent. As you may have noticed, they can also be turned into multi-hit combos if you time those button presses correctly. If you tap the strike button right before you hit the enemy, you'll perform another hit. You over there, give it a shot. Little side note, Brawler class players can actually perform up to six hits during a strike combo. It requires a lot of precise timing on each hit, but if you pull it off, it can make your basic move a deadly force. Oh hey, I'm a Brawler class. I'll be punching people's lights out in no time. That's the spirit. Speaking of... Why ya yada? Ah, quit belly aching. You can heal yourself with one of those crimson fruits by tapping the topmost face button. That'll access your items menu. And you can choose one and use it on yourself or a party member. Or you can just hit me back. Next, let's talk defense. Much like how the strike combos work, if you tap the bottommost face button right before an opponent tries to hit you, you can defend against it and decrease the amount of damage you take. Try it! It takes some getting used to, and it won't work against every single attack. But if you can master it, defending on the fly like that will really help you out. There's also a way to defend against any attack without having to time any button presses. If you tap that strategize button down below, you can choose defend to block and reduce your damage for the next turn. Keep in mind, if you don't make a move within your 30 second time limit, you'll automatically go into defense mode and your turn will be over. Last but not least, let's talk about the magic part of the magical expertise around here. Your strongest abilities are waiting over on the leftmost face button, and both of you should have two magic techniques to start with. Now you see that blue bar at the top of the screen that's been charging up every time you land a hit? That's your MP, or magic points, and your entire party shares the collective bar. Using magic depletes your MP, and the requirements to pull them off can vary depending on the move. But using these techniques well can mean a real swift defeat of your opponents. And that's it, as far as the basics go. Alright, I'm gonna jump out of this battle. This tutorial will pop up early on in the game in case you want a refresher, but otherwise you're completely free to skip it if you want. Not long after that, Kerbifer will also teach you a bit about how the four different status ailments work as well, so be sure to listen to his advice. 
Now, here's a few advanced tips that will help you out in a tight spot. Strike attacks slowly recover your MP or magic points with each hit. Most of your party members can only do up to two hits at a time, but Alpha, as well as your player character if you decide to go as a brawler class, can do up to six hits with a strike combo. Right before they land the first hit, rapidly tap the strike button with good timing to score additional hits. This can be a really good strategy for building up your MP and causing some light damage without having to waste a turn using a mana recovery item. Next, in the Strategize menu, one of the options is Flee. You won't be able to flee from battle against other players, so you'll have to defeat each of them in a stage in order to progress. But you can flee from monsters, and in some cases, it might even be better off to get away from them, unless you're looking to grind for nettier items. Also in your Strategize menu are your hack abilities. Over the course of the game, the player character will automatically learn new hacking techniques, indicated by them visiting a mysterious underground website on their computer desktop at various points. Utilizing these in a tight spot can really help you out, such as input lagging enemies with long strike combos so they only hit you once, or being able to change your elemental alignment, or the element of your basic magic attack you learned at the beginning of the game, or even eventually giving elemental damage to your basic strike attack. Though for that last one, you will eventually gain access to power-ups that you can buy and fulfill that without having to use any hacks. Use these abilities sparingly, though, as the consequences can negatively affect you and your party. Meanwhile, your magical techniques each have a unique quick-time event that you'll need to master in order to maximize their power. Some of them will give you a bonus when executing the QTE correctly, but some of the more powerful ones will fizzle out or even cause recoil damage if you mess them up. Practicing them against the dummy at the dojo, or against past enemies in the battle arena, is a good way to practice. Some of these actions you'll need to perform for these techniques are trickier than others. For example, the basic projectile technique of the player character, if you choose to be either a brawler or a spellcaster, as well as Flame Girl's Sun Gun and Kerberfer's Energy Cannon. If you get the timing on the rapid presses of the magic button just right, you can score up to four hits, which can really help you out with clearing out a lot of enemies quickly, especially if you have an elemental type advantage over them. On that note, scanning your opponents to glance at their statistics can help you out as well. Particularly, it can show you what elemental alignment they have to help you better decide what types of techniques to use on them, and it will also show you what status ailments they're resistant to. As there's no EXP or leveling up system in Tome, the progression of your strength is all based around the power-ups you collect and equip to your party. Since you'll be traveling with a predetermined lineup of characters for each mission, remember to hit up an equipment stall and outfit them all with the best combination of power-ups that you have. You can also swap ones that are equipped onto other party members that aren't currently with you, indicated by the face icons that are connected to them. In addition, while you can buy certain power-ups from the shops and traveling merchants, the majority of the most useful ones you'll be finding to increase your attack and defense power will be hidden throughout the overworld stages. Thus, you should make sure to explore every single nook and cranny you can possibly find, as you never know when a treasure box might be hiding behind something. On that same note, consumable items are just as important as updating your equipment. If you're the type of player to hoard your items away and put off on using them, break out of those old habits. Having a good amount of health and magic recovery items, as well as the chimes which can revive your defeated party members, are the most important without a doubt. Spending netty on those should be your top priority. However, if you find yourself with a surplus of netty, you can even go ahead and splurge on some additional power-ups, such as the ones we mentioned earlier that can give elemental damage to your strike attacks. It'll all come down to skill, so hone your abilities and get ready to get good if you want to bring your team victory. That should be enough to get you started, so go pick up the terrain of magical expertise for PC if you haven't already. Get out there and battle on! All right, we're back. All right, thanks everybody. That was fun. So I'll uh, I'll be putting that video up on um, my channel probably this Saturday as well um, for all of you guys to see. And uh, so, all right, I got myself some tea. Take a little bit of a chillax break for a second. Uh, let me see if I can go ahead. And you were gaming too hard. I, well, yeah, that was what else is new with me. Uh, oh, man. Epic gamer. Shouting all those slurs at those PUBG players. Oh, stop. Uh, I, 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 get, I, I mean, I totally get it. Aw, oh, damn those awesome PUBG players and how they play that game. Oh. I, I literally wish I knew what you were talking about. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I, I also wish I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Oh, this is this has nothing to do with Tome, but uh, 
there's a new presidential mandate that requires uh, COVID vaccinations for almost everybody by law, which is great. Finally. I'm very delighted. Finally. Um, I did, yeah, actually, I just heard about yeah. that today. So, yeah, everybody out there, go get vaccinated so we won't all be trapped inside of our houses for the rest of our lives. Please, see you play. It would also be good if you guys could, like, you know, Give, give a couple of those vaccine bottles for the rest of us. That's Just true. Yeah, we would love to That's share those cool. with other countries. That'd be cool. That'd Good be Lord. cool. I'm wow. sorry, Australia. I'm yeah. sorry how bad I'm we're only, fucking you. I'm, I'm only getting my second dose next week. It took that long for me to get my second dose. Well, hey, congratulations all the same, though. Thank yeah, you. Dude. Good Lord. We gotta get you out of Australia and over to California oh, at some point. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, no offense. Yeah. But You're not you enticed are... right now to come Oh, you know what? You know what? No. You know what? No. Fair enough. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Honestly, no. Oh, my God. Honestly, no. Sorry, our country mm. sucks right mm. now. Hey, let's look at some concept art. Yes, Yay. I want to see that. All right. So cool. All right. So, boop. There yeah. we are. Oh, hold on. I'm going to use the magical. Uh, <laughs> cropping <clears throat> ability that uh uh oh wait no i have to plug the god damn it i have to keep i only have so many usb slots so oh, I, I have to i have to keep like switching back and forth between wait no i can't oh no i literally can't do it because i need both ah oh on. no oh god oh, damn no. it all uh, <laughs> usb ports uh I don't have enough to do whatever. All right, whatever. This is going to have to do. So I guess you can't. Wait, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, what the hell am I talking about? I'll just move. Can I, can I just. No, that's not what I meant to do. Hold on. Hold I'm on. got this. You can figure out this tech hold on, shit. Hold on, you made hold a game. On. You can I, do it. I think, I think you did just do it with a mouse. Oh, did I, I just. Did I just, did, I just, did I just unplug my camera? Oh, oh yeah, rip. Whoops. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Sorry, oh, everybody. Oh. Sorry, I'm a disaster. <laughs> We love you all the same. Stream success. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> it's not a true uh, stream without scuff. Task failed successfully. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna, we're doing this. We're making it happen. I warned you about the, the stairs. I love those eyes. There we go. Oh, I love it. There we go. There we go. Okay. 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 Yay. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But okay. Excuse me. Where are you? Wait, where are friends? Friends are, should be up there. There we go. Okay. I've, I've done it. I've done it. Okay. So here are uh, some concept sketches that I've done. Uh, these go back to... God, when did I make these? Let's see if I can get a date on one of these. Uh, you look so old. <laughs> I, did, I did these back in... Oh, my God. In 2015. Wow. Oh my god! Yeah, so, so it was a long time coming. This was something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time, um, and uh, so there was the idea of uh, doing a tone game for years, years and years and years that I wanted to do this, um, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't know how possible it was going to be, and uh, so while I was, you know searching for the people that would be able to help make it a reality in the first place. Um, you know, I was doing a lot of concepting and, and trying to figure out exactly what the layout of the entire game was going to be, the look and feel of it and everything. And um, so there were a lot of different ideas. Uh, and uh, what I did do eventually uh, was um, I, uh, I decided to come up with these kind of like new sort of proper fantasy type versions to sort of unify uh tone together and then of course i did eventually hire uh other character designers and things uh people to help me out including uh adam and andy who did some guest character designs as well um but these were the initial sketches that i did of uh, alpha and his little toga uh his little his little greek toga and flamey in the more of like the fire mage type of uh, situation and then curb with his uh, Gino Mega Man Kirby link everything I've ever grown up with ripoff hodgepodge design I love him you can also, see you can see in the sketch he has more of the the little palm tree star shape uh, compared to the um, the proper actual star shape that he has now 
But uh, yeah. What was up, Andy? Sorry, sir. Oh, I just wanted to say Toga Alpha is the best Alpha design by far. He's very adorable. I do love him. Most solid. Mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> it works so well. Over here we have uh, <gasps> Ni Nylock with his big ass World of Warcraft paladin oh, I uh, love it. armor. Still was figuring out his hair. I shrunk the ears down a lot, but he had the, the beard, of course. And I knew that I wanted Tiger Lily, who at this point still had a staff like that she did in the uh, the web series. Um, I knew I wanted her to be very like jungle themed, kind of tribal looking and stuff. I think in this sketch, it looks like her ponytail is like a second tail sort of shape in addition to the actual tail that she has. But um, and I knew that I wanted her to be uh, plant themed as well. So hence the tiger lily kind of thing. And um, she she went on to be one of my favorites, and she's so cool. There's a lot of sketches of her. I'm biased, but I love her. <laughs> Here's um, playing around with some other haircuts for Flamey. Um, this uh, this haircut was actually kind of what I wanted to use for her, like way back in like the very beginning. Um, and uh, I tried to see if I could make it work, but the shape wasn't quite like perfect. Um, and her kind of usual haircut style and everything kind of tended to work a little bit better. Um, we also have Curb with his, uh, he's got a good silhouette that I've stolen from 30 other things. <laughs> he's um, just little, he's just so small. He's very, very tiny boy over here and he's got his Mega Man gadgets and stuff and the armor and everything underneath. I love and, the physical crosshair on me, not Mega Buster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did end up keeping that, actually. If I, I wish I had. I should have done that. And then down here are the initial sketches that I did of Raccoon and uh, Skate. This was, I think, back during a phase where I considered having them just be a duo, and Archie, I think, was going to be part of the cast of Dreams instead. And then somewhere along the line, it was decided to have the three of them be a trio, which I'm so happy that we did that. But you can also see, of course... Skate has got uh, a skateboard instead of roller skates. Hmm. Pardon me for the ASMR. I'm eating pretzels. And yeah, here, here we have the white hat hackers mm. for sketches. So, looking good. Mm -hmm. They later got refined, but um, the cybernetic one pretty much stayed. Close enough. I, I gave him the little uh, plug, uh, what's it called, uh, ponytail thing. Uh, animalistic was very much the same. I think I changed the boots That's a one. little bit. Um, the slime one I overhauled a lot. I was really trying to come up with like a like a hair style, you know, whatever the slime sort of hair. Um, that would make sense. And the human one, I was like coming up with like a bunch of different ideas for. I had this kind of like Assassin's Creed esque kind of thing going on for this initial sketch. I don't know quite what I was thinking on that one, but I tried that. And a <laughs> bunch of uh, expressions for the boys, for uh, Alpha Curb and Nylock. You know, wanting to push the expressiveness. Um, some of these actually did end up making, or remnants of them kind of ended up making it into um, the actual game. Um, you know, the general sort of idea of what I wanted to do with each of them. Um, these two, like, a a a things I really liked a lot. <laughs> and Alpha's very much got some Toriyama, you know, art style going on here, so. The way you do expressions has always been just so, so good. That's, like, so iconic of your style, too. Just the over-exaggerated facial expressions and how you draw them. Ah, so good. The expressions are hard, and you do them very, very well. I have to... <laughs> because I'm not good at detail, so I have to, like, make up for it with other things. <laughs> so, um... I'm currently trying to mess around with not sucking any expressions and mm. holy crap. This was, uh, an idea for Flame Girl. Played around with the idea of making her, uh, a mage, or making her kind of more like a... Like a superhero, like making, like, Flame Girl more like a DC kind of superhero type of thing. Um, played around with different things for like a mask and a hood and all that sort of stuff. Excuse oh no, I love it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then eventually, um, I kind of incorporated in like the 
the sort of uh, fuzzy coat uh, sort of part of it. Made the hair a little bit longer. This was a little closer. This is a part where she had kind of like a little hair loopies like she had in the first season of the series. So uh, playing around with that a little bit. And then eventually we wound up with what we got at the end. Um, GameSoft! So this was tricky because I I was playing around with like, well, I don't want them to just be like completely like just the silhouette. I want to have some other features and stuff. So we played around with like hair, like this little kind of almost, Brendan, again, you'll appreciate this, a little bit of like a Bomberman sort of like hair knot, kind of like a bun thing in the background. But I was like, ah, it doesn't look quite right. And then I tried some different things with the ears. And, uh, and then I realized, oh, the little, like, CD earrings. That goes really good because also, like, you know, she's, she's bald in this design, but, like, you know, more or less kind of like a short hair sort of thing. Um, and uh, the big hoop earrings, they kind of worked really well. Uh, so I played around with that. And then, of course, I had some ideas with, you know, the transforming arms and the different, you know, uh, button symbols and everything on, the, uh, on her body and everything. Yeah, that blade that blade hand is iconic, but I love all of the new uh, Morphe gadgets you've come up with. Yeah, and this is me trying to figure out Tiger Lily. I wanted her to be like lean and kind of like muscly and badass. This is still me playing around with the uh, the tail, uh, the po- the pony tail hair, literally, and some Hurry. expressions, some expressions and things. <laughs> Only on Thursdays, Andy. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, Trying out some more things, some some poses, and getting feral, and sitting down, trying different things. So I was playing around with some of what the the silhouettes would look like compared to each other down here as well. Um, Had to give her the big beefy Popeye arm claws, of course, because I love that. I love (laughs) big old paws. (laughs) And here we have Saturn Diva and Snow Whitey. Basic ideas. I wanted to have the the ring sort of um, theme for Saturn Diva be very prominent. Um, we, uh, we, we kind of messed around with how exactly they would be laid out in her outfit and everything and made her a little more sleek looking, but, uh, cert- certain basic things were still prominent with this. And she's got the arm blades and everything, the, the loop hair shape I'm very proud of. And then we kind of, this was meant to be kind of like a Saturn ring, like a planet thing around her head. And, um, Snow Whitey, I wanted to make look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> so I gave her like this big sort of like base uh, EXE overcoat that looked like a Christmas tree, the little, like, the furls that look like the kind of layers of the, um, the pine and everything, and then have her, uh, headdress thing be kind of like, like the star at the, at the top, and the little, the little fluffy, uh, uh, earmuffs as well. She's super cute. These were a lot of fun. I love her new design. I love it. It's so cute. Sorry, I, I didn't get a chance to mention this when Xanthi was still here. Yeah. Um, but on the topic of Snow, Snow Whitey was my favorite character in the original version. Oh, I, really? I watched, yeah, I, I watched with a friend. And I was like, I, I just really like, I like Flame Girls Buddies, and I really like Snow Whitey. And, yeah. And uh, when you were doing the cast announcements, because I didn't know who most people were, Xanthi has a habit of playing my favorite character in whatever she's in. Oh, really? In. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Like she's yeah. my favorite character in Cold Steel. Uh, she's Haru in Persona 5. Right. So when I saw she got cast as Snow, and I was like, of course. <laughs> wow. Of course it would be Xanthi. Z- Z- uh. archetype apparently is best girl, so good on her. Xanthi, uh, if you ever if you see this archived later, thank you so much. You were, you were such a joy. Um... These were some ideas for uh, what eventually became Astrologist. He was very tall and lanky, and he had played around with having his uh, shield thing be like attached to his arms, you know, kind of like this business suit sort of thing going on. Um, Sniper Rider, I definitely wanted to be a Transformer. Um, so I, uh, this is part one of some of the ideas that I had of like the kind of gun body and a lot of the Mega Man Battle Network, uh, you know, uh, Net Navi type of influence. This was another idea for messing around with that. Um, Here's Grounda, uh, <gasps> one of the dinosaur duo. Um, My favorite. I wanted to make uh, Grounda and T-Bones into actual dinosaurs in this version. Um, so I hadn't drawn dinosaur characters in, like, years. <laughs> so I played around with a few things. I found that the actual, like, usual sort of shape of uh, a stegosaurus was not the most appealing thing in the world. So I kind of rounded it off and came up with this shape and then kind of moved it down like this. And it's like, oh, actually, this is kind of cute. I like this. And made her kind oh of like God. like stumpy I and adorable. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I realize, I, I, I think I played around with the tail a little bit. Oh, yeah, no, I changed it to like the, the sort of um, the clover shape to keep it consistent with the shapes all around. But that was something. 
Uh, and then likewise, here's, uh, here's, here's T-Bones. I th yeah, at one point he was just gonna straight up have, like, a Scotsman kind of outfit. Uh, <laughs> but I, lo I, lo I love his big squarey. He looks kind of like the, the Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts sort of art style to him. Um, so that was a fun one for me. Uh, Thunderlinks. Uh, I didn't quite know what I wanted to do with Thunderlinks and Hyperlinks at this stage. Um... I knew that I I think one idea that I that I had for for sure was I wanted them uh, both of them and, and hyperlinks to be um, uh, kind of gender ambiguous or gender gender neutral or non-binary like so, something alternative and um, but I had nothing in mind in terms of personality so like you know just kind of playing around with the sort of you know big long wire arms and like very lanky and sleek kind of thing. I uh, wanted them to be very elegant looking. And then um, this is an early idea for hyperlinks, uh, a little bit more akin to the previous designs. And then when they really? got uh, fully wow. redesigned, um, I still didn't quite have personalities in mind yet. And then just something came out sure. where I'm like, I'm going to make hyperlinks speak entirely in rap and thunderlinks will speak entirely in haiku. <laughs> because... <laughs> Sometimes when you get bored and you just write them as normal people and it's like, I gotta spice them up somehow. Just the weird stuff comes out and uh, and then it's like, oh, I love this. Perfect. And now I adore them both. And uh, you can haiku. Here's, here's our boy, Brendan. Ooh. Oh, crap. Bird. I've got a bird in my mouth right now. Oh, on. God. Are you oh, eating, oh. Are, are, you, are you eating chicken? Oh, that's yeah. hot. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That, and I'll, yeah. No, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna go anywhere else with that. Oh. Um, yeah. So oh. some basic ideas. Oh. I had. I had this idea of him uh, before. Before the idea of giving each of the black hat hackers literal black hats. Um, I uh, yeah. He had this kind of like, you know, pompous little the little the little slicks in the front, the little feathers, and uh, I'm not sure what I was quite doing with this armor idea. It was just something kind of. Oh, and it looks like I think. Oh yeah, and he had wings and then also claw like separate claw arms underneath maybe maybe the wings were even like a cape can't quite remember um and of course i wanted to have the the big sharp uh, talons as well so this front view is very cursed not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to make beats from the front appealing Sorry. it's like a phineas and phineas and ferb front view very uh-huh <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> oh. Also, Mac is in, the, is in the chat. So, hi, Mac. Hey, hey Mac. Hey. hey. Shout out to Devin Mac, who was my co-voice director on the Troublemakers and wrote virtually all of their dialogue. Mac, do you want to join us? If you want to come in, let me know. I'll, join I'll, us. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him an invite just in case. Oh, I don't have my keyboard plugged in crap Oop. oh no how do you Rip. how do you copy and paste a link to the server can you do that <laughs> can um, you do that does anybody know oh, oh i'm sure you can uh let me find out Did you oh. do, do, do. You oh i can't be, check on here you should be able to right keyboard. click and copy uh, yeah. uh yeah, right top left over the server's name if you um I got it. I got it. I just sent an invite mm -hmm. to, to Mac. Oh, good. Beautiful. Love all of them. Here's the Soupy Slime siblings. Doubling and splat. I wanted them to be full-on slime people and be disgusting. This was an idea yeah. of having them uh, have these sort of, like, heart and brain type, like, mechanical things kind of floating around in them. We didn't end up going with that, and then they were actually given full clothing. Thank God. Because they're already disgusting enough. Speaking of disgust, <laughs> speaking of disgusting enough, here's the worst character ever, Oddball. <laughs> He's oh, so God. ugly, but Leo really liked him in the show. But yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, this was an earlier idea where I made him uh, about as disgusting as he was uh, in the show. <laughs> He's a trash boy. I love it. He's a trash. He's a trash and man then, now. Um, I'm not really sure why I decided to do this, but then I tried to make him handsome. Oh, that's right. so funny. I love oh, it. No, it's is, great. This is, this is deeply cursed. This yeah. is very okay. deeply cursed. And, He's uh, someone's favorite. Yeah, yeah, he sure is someone's favorite. Probably somebody watching this right now. I'm looking oh, at no. you. I'm looking at you, I, Ty. This has, this, has awakened, this has awakened strange fetishes within me. Oh, <laughs> oh. The, individually, the one on the left with like the sexy genie lean and the like the muscles is not that, that bad, and the one top middle is not that bad. But right next to each other, the hey, how you doing with the yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oddball. Oddball is the worst <clears throat> ever, 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 ever. He's disgusting. Um, here was... <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was thinking with this idea. I really needed Trying help. Trying to glow up. I really, yeah, mm. I really needed help with uh, Neo Mutant. Oh. <laughs> he looks so fucking good now. He's got the best glow up, actually. Yeah. I, oh, I, I love him. I was having yeah. difficulty deciding exactly what uh, black hat that I wanted to give him, like literally. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, because of his uh, past uh simping for flame girl incarnations which i'll say ahead of time he's not like that in this version he did he, he couldn't care less um but uh i thought about am i gonna give him a, 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 a like like a Dora. like a, you're not, oh. not a, yeah yeah i was playing around with some things and then excuse me in in the in the final uh the final concept um we ended up uh going with like a like kind of like a samurai helmet to go with sort of like the beetle kind of insectoid um look that he has which Infinitely better than this, so I'm very glad. Yeah, that I, 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 love, needed, I, I yeah, love his design. I needed. So he's not one. a nice guy in cell anymore. Sad. No, no, now he's just a jerk. He just generally <laughs> a jerk. Here's uh, here's Demon King, uh, one of our lovely. I, I believe at this point I decided that I wanted um, some of these other characters to be role players uh, yeah. in, in the same way that Nylock was. Yes. And uh, so Demon King was fun. I tried some of these like cool golden ringlets, and I tried this kind of sort of spiky shape, kind of like the way that his hair is. So his hair is also kind of like the shape of the crown that he's wearing over his head and everything. And, uh, you know, we ended up... This, making this is a really specific reaction to this design, but especially the little mustache. I... Have you guys ever played Candyland? You know Lord Licorice? Yes! Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. If Lord Licorice were a JRPG main antagonist, <laughs> this would be his, like, second form of three in the final. Oh, play. totally. Which, by the way, can we get a Candyland JRPG, please? I actually want that. I'll make it. I, I need oh. that in my life. Good lord. Oh. Um, Serpentine. We saw a little bit of him earlier. Uh, funnily enough... Uh, the final design that I ended up going with for Serpentine uh, was actually using the uh, the first pass at Nylock's armor uh, that wasn't quite working, and I kind of updated it to have a little bit of like um, like sort of like a monstery like like kind of face to it, a little bit like Nylock's season two armor from the show. Um, so I kind of took little elements of that, and I'm realizing, by the way, that uh, his hair is just like he's a Yu-Gi-Oh character. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just like yeah. it's like Taya and or Pegasus oh. and or like three oh, other I guys. Yeah, and I'm I like, oh, that's where now. I got that like kind of squarey, long, like like handsome man shape from. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure, why not? Um, let's see here. Oh, okay, this was oh, I wish, my wife. I wish my that, wife. I wish Danny were here to see yeah. these. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> Dust Bunny was was actually one of the most challenging ones because because. Um, Dust Bunny is the closest equivalent that I have to a sexy, like, male fan service type character that's just like, male you know, fan service, girl, okay. you know, well, okay, well, you know what, you know what, fair enough, fair me. enough, yeah, yes, excuse me, uh, <laughs> but, but a, a female fan service E in general type of character, because I don't often do that, I, I'm not, I'm not great with, like, you know, pin up -y, you know, like, sexy kind of artwork and designs and things, but I wanted her to be cool and interesting and not, like, too hypersexualized. So I wanted her to be a morphological race so that she was literally made of smoke. Um, so what I tried playing around with at one point, and I, I knew I wanted her to have the uh, the little beret as well. That just worked perfectly for her. Um, I tried having the majority of her body be the smoke and then her limbs and maybe, like, other parts of her body be, like, pipes and things like things that would or, or like uh, you know like like cigarette holders and like bongs and stuff like that that the smoke would come out of you know what I mean? Um, huh. So I tried all these different ideas and then I tried to like kind of have the shape of the I tried to give her kind of like because uh, if any of you guys have have pet rabbits um, the the yeah. the female rabbits have the little like waddle on their neck got like tits you know so <laughs> <laughs> no tits allowed. Good night everybody. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, tr 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 tried some tried some different things. Played with like the hair over her face, and actually, I remember. Here's a crazy story. I was at uh, I was at a place uh, where a bunch of artists used to hang out and 
um, and, and, and draw and, you know, get coffee and stuff. And Invention? At, and, no, 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 no. It was, it was like, it was, like, <laughs> uh, it was at a little, like, uh, a, little, a little, like, tea place, like, in, in Burbank, I think. And Alex Ahad, uh, the, the uh, creator of Skullgirls, um, who I've known for a long time, he's a wonderful guy, um, he, uh, I went to him and I'm like, Alex, please help. Please, oh, oh, my lord of drawing cool, interesting, unique monster girls. I don't know. Sexy what, girls. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And so he tried his hand and did, you know, did a couple. This this sketch page is just mostly Alex, and he tried to play around with a few different ideas. And then eventually we wound up with um, the kind of like Marilyn Monroe kind of like hourglass shape and everything. And she had the the wand as kind of like a uh, that looks kind of like like a cigarette holder sort of thing. And it was lovely. Really funny flapper. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I do. I do like that brief Doctor Strange thing just up towards the top there, where we had in brief picture. That was that 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 looked neat. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Doctor Strange, you see the air. He, he. Um, I Dust Bunny has my favorite design of anyone because so many like so many little moments of just like oh you get to you're like you're the you're in a bad guy duo with Danny lovely she's dust bunny that's fun and you showed me the design I was like oh that's dust bunny oh, yeah, oh i yeah. see why i partnered with her yeah okay. oh yeah yeah. Wink, nudge, nudge. yeah it's funny too because like they never they never interacted in any previous iteration cuz raven free tended to be so disconnected from everything this was this was fun you really got the 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 long end of the stick that's a that's a phrase uh when it came to raven freak is this is the most attention i've given him in any incarnation of tome before <laughs> he's usually just a one-off like one episode guy and then now uh in this one he had actually quite a bit he had, he had more lines than some of the other like characters that I, I didn't expect him to have as much and i was like oh wow so but but you i mean you have so much fun with it. and actually uh, dust bunny as well dust bunny's kind of scattered throughout and i danny playing villains is just like mwah because I loved her in Phoenix Wright and all this other stuff, the show she's doing now with the crazy, like, the kind of alternate personalities and stuff. Um, so, no, you guys were brilliant on the two of them. Um, here's a couple of characters that were absolutely, completely overhauled. Um, these two, in previous incarnations, were known as uh, Suzuku and Shogun. Um, and uh, I knew that with the two of them, I wanted to totally overhaul them. So I made the wielder of the sun sword uh, a Chinese dragon warrior, uh, and then I made um, the wielder of the moon lance a samurai kind of like cyborg girl. Uh, so played around with them quite a bit, and then uh, eventually landed on uh, what we got something a little closer with with here, and you know had these two different things. And uh, and I of course wanted to also get uh, Chinese American and Japanese American actors to play uh, both of them as well. Uh, that was really, good, that was really uh, important to me. So good silhouettes too, and uh, and also mm. inst instead of them just being more assholes in a sea of of because apparently a lot of the past incarnations of these tone characters were just assholes with not much to mention to them. Excuse me. So I decided to make the twin blades of night and day into fellow role players. They were fellow heroes like Nylock was, uh, which uh, turned out uh, to work pretty well. So um, and who do we got? Real uh, quick before the next one, oh, yeah. uh, I think I'm going to duck out. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. I hey, hope buddy. you guys have a fun rest of your stream and launch. Thank you, sir. Seriously. Thank you. Uh, and I will be sure to, because I will, I will uh, when, when you can use your arms and not hurt yourself, I will absolutely send you a Steam key because I want to see you play this I game. I want to see your reaction. What? <laughs> Bren <laughs> Brendan. Adam. All right, get out, get out of my, fuck off, get out of my house. <laughs> god. Oh my god, thank you, thank you for sticking around, buddy. Oh my god. Uh, I have to pee too, but uh, okay. thanks for letting me lurk here. No, no, Kaylee, thank you so much for joining. Thank I saw Kevin, by the way, uh, left a, a message somewhere too, and tell him thank you for me if he's nearby. I super appreciate I you guys. All right, have a great weekend. Thank you for coming. Hey, you too, have a great All one. Right. Congrats. Bye. Bye. Yes. All right. We have two more left. Here was another page of uh, some Tiger Lily stuff. I think another and, wife. I think uh, I think actually Andrew Dickman when we were at that same uh, uh, coffee place. I think that he tried his hand. I was like, Andrew, you draw furries. Help me out. What do I do? I don't know. And uh, played around a little bit more. Go to the professional. Coffee <laughs> place. I think it is professional furry. Yeah. And uh, and of course, last but certainly not least, the worst. Also, my wife. The worst piece of shit. <laughs> Ever, I, oh. I I can't wait for everybody to hate him. Mm. I want oh. I want you all to hate him. 
Nope. Yeah. You can't with, do ev this. with every oh, fiber no, of your being. Yeah. Oh. No, they're you all gonna they're all gonna love him. They're all gonna love him. I know. You can't me. you can't stop the the love for the bad boys. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> apparently not. Apparently, there's no hope for me. I mean, and I, you uh, try really hard. I love. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's something else. But um, yeah, with uh, with um, with Zeto, yeah, the, he. I wanted to give him the kind of scouter type thing, give him the sort of Mega Man Battle Network like ear cufflet type things as well. Play with the arm, make the arm very like top heavy, um, and uh, this this pose ended up kind of being his uh, his idle pose in the final thing. Eventually, he also got like the kind of Z shaped uh, kind of lightning bolt scarf as well, and um, he's just a bastard. He's really, he's really just such a bastard. My God. Wait, wait. Before you continue, can you tell us the story on how he was originally created? Oh, story dear time. God. Oh, dear tell God. Uh, man. It's, my, it, it's mildly embarrassing. All right, so... Well, you don't have to have all the details. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give you the, the, the sort of short version. All right, so... Perfect. Um, basically, uh, well, uh, on a general note, I'll, I'll set this up. For those of you who don't already know the kind of, um, you know, uh, overall idea of how Tome came to be, um, I was on a forum years and years ago. I'm talking, like, you know, early 2000s. Like, Pokemon Advance was just starting to air in, in Japan, I think, at the time. And um, I was on this forum. It was the first message board that I was ever on. It was called TV Tome. And uh, it eventually got kind of turned into a different website. It was kind of like a pre-Wikipedia type of encyclopedia sort of website and things. And um, so I met all my first internet friends on this forum. And uh, and it was a forum that didn't have any images at all. There were no nobody could have any like avatars or signatures. If any of you guys remember being on message boards when you could have a signature. <laughs> and uh, yeah. No. Um, so, so <laughs> uh, sorry, just plugging my keyboard back in. Here we go. Um, so, uh, so Kerbifer was the screen name that I had, you know, already for a few years. By that point, I, I made that screen name when I was about twelve years old, and um, so I met all these people, and I, I had it in my head of like, you know what? What if I did like these kind of interpretive drawings where like. It's I take somebody's screen name and I make a character out of it. So what if I took like Flame Girl and like what would she look like? What would Game Craze look like? What would Nylock look like? You know all these different things, and um, and that's kind of uh, that that was where the designs came from. And at the time I was obsessed with you know Mega Man Battle Network and Reboot and Dot Hack, all these like you know cyberpunk. You know this is before by the way everybody. I want to remind you all this is before Sword Art Online. Thank you for everybody to this day that still thinks that Tome was just a knockoff of that. I still have never You did it before it. then. They stole I, your idea. I've, no, 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 no. The, when, <laughs> no, I have to correct people when they say, you ripped off Sword Art on Summer Wars. And I'm like, no, honey, I ripped off Battle Network and Dot Hack. Get it right. Uh, Get it right. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, and then uh, one day, uh, you know, things escalated in a, in a conversation, and then I decided to um, make an alternate account. Because that's a thing that you can do Ooh, edgy boy. on message boards. And uh, I don't remember exactly why. Um, and, uh, oh, hey, shout out, by the way, in the chat to the folks from uh, Fiola Soft. Uh, I love you guys. I worked with them on uh, Black Hole. Uh, and uh, they were also published by 1C, who is our publisher for Tome as well. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate you all. Uh, shout out to Philip Croucher, who gave me a lot of really important advice early on in development of the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Zeto was basically an alternate account that I used to, uh, be an edgy teenager. And, uh, then I went ahead and made a separate character out of him because I'm an egotist. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I made him just kind of like a weird DBZ mishmash. Um, it was also hilarious that, you know, uh, then Super Saiyan Blue became a thing years later, and I'm just like, that's fair. <laughs> and, um... And then, of course, and then the fact that I got Eric Vale, who's the voice of Trunks, to voice him, I, oh, I, I can't believe that I worked that out. That that I'm still getting over that in particular. That, that's I love insane. it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, although, oh, I, I really should be more intimidated, intimidated by the fact that I have a literal god of destruction in my cast as well. You know, cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, but Eric sounds so good. That's oh yeah, no, he's yeah, he sounds. Um, I can't blame people for being 
for simping over how awful of a person Zeto is because he sounds hot. So, you know, that's really all you he need. He sounds sexy, apparently. therefore he's sexy. Therefore he's a great person that we can all admire. So No, 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 no. People are very aware that he is a terrible person. However, <laughs> however, I think that's the, the, however the attractiveness. Indeed. Good Lord almighty. <laughs> Oh, oh, I can fix him. Can't, He's I so hot. Even, like, I can knock fix him. On that origin story. <laughs> What's that? I can't even like knock you for that origin story. What? Because it, because you were probably an equally edgy teenager when you were a child. Probably I was. I don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> yeah, Ed, Edwin was the edgiest of of us all when he was a when he was a teenager. Did, did I show no. you? No. Yes. Oh yes. Oh. 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 We're not gonna rat you out. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm I'm gonna show one more level in the game. Oh. Just a little bit of it, just a little tiny people, bit. People one can feel off thing. about the voice cast, but it, absolute insane talent across the board. It's oh, oh yeah, it's so and there's good. Uh, there's so fun. there's some that you guys don't know about just yet that I'm gonna show <laughs> after I uh, show this this last level here. So, <laughs> all right. Um, so, and, uh, Melly, you, you more than anybody else, I'm sure, will know why. Uh, this level has a lot of very important stuff in it, so I'm actually not gonna go for too long in it. Um, but, uh, it's, it's a very, uh, GameSoft-centric stage. Ooh, I haven't seen very much yet. Yes, well, you'll, you'll probably know what it is soon enough. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too, too far on this one. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, but, uh, we'll go through here. By the way, you can see from talking to the date of this character here. Today is Thursday. Are you going to share it on the Discord too? Or? Oh, so sorry. Yeah, God, I keep forgetting every time I have to do that. Up. Oh, wait, do we have a Mackle? Do we have a Devin Mackle? Oh, oh, hello there. Hello. Hi, Mac. Uh, joining us hey, is Mr. Devin. Is Mr. Devin Mack. Uh, who was my uh, lovely co-voice director on the game? He directed and basically. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold up. Everybody died. Hold on. <laughs> okay, good. Now. Yes, that's a great sign of things to come. All right, hold up. Redoing that again. <laughs> anyway, see, I, I was saying. Was, what you made the mistake of calling me lovely, and that's immediately when you got booted off. Oh, of course. yes, of course. A lie. Of course. No, it's not a lie at all. Not even close. Um, oh. But uh, yeah, Devin was our uh, uh, co-voice director for the game. Uh, he directed the voices of the Troublemakers and also basically wrote and developed them as characters throughout the entire process of this game for four years now. Um, That's so, a long time. Yeah. Uh, so old. But I am, I, am, uh, I am so grateful for all the hours. I mean, because you are also another very, very... Yeah, you better be. Very busy human being. And the <laughs> fact that you were able to put in so much time to making these characters <laughs> as special as they were. Uh, I, I, am, I am truly in your debt for that. And, okay, I think... Uh -oh. You are what? Okay. Chris, you are what? Okay. Chris, I I, what? I think that what unfortunately I think that unfortunately Discord doesn't like me sharing my screen with you guys mm. at the same time while okay. I'm streaming. So yeah. you're gonna have to watch it on the actual stream, and it'll be a few seconds behind. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Fine. Yeah. Sorry. I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe well, it worked before, so maybe it's only me. Maybe I need to not. No. No. Oh. No. Oh. no. <laughs> By the way, this is Blackcurrant Beach. Uh, this is sorry, Mac. Uh, <laughs> no, go go ahead. No, I was saying because it's called Blackcurrant Beach. Sorry about that. Oh no, I love it. <laughs> so this was uh, Brenda was asking earlier. People were uh, saying, "Oh, what was your favorite area, like region of the game to uh, to work on this one?" I love the look of it. I love the lore of it, like all the little ghost villagers and things. Um, like these are uh, the villagers are all these kind of like cute ghost people that gave up their corporeal forms and sacrificed themselves to a volcano to have everlasting afterlife. You know, not creepy at all, kids. Ha! <laughs> I love that for us. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this kind of nice little beach area. Um, and of the course... obligatory beach episode. No, not nice. quite. I mean, well, there's hot springs in every place that you go to, and you oh jump. Oh my god! You jump in and take a little dip and replenish your HP no matter where you go. Awesome. So you know. 
sexy, Ooh. sexy hot springs and beach episode. Game oh, I did see that episode. <laughs> I mean, I have artistic ability. I can do that. That's true. I would yeah. love to. I would love to draw a beach episode like wallpaper or something. I've wanted to do that for a long time. Let me know when you're ready. Let's do it together. Hell yeah! Oh, can though. we do it a collab piece? Oh hell yeah! I'm so down for that. And oh my god, you're making oh, all cool. my dreams come true. Oh cool, the game crashed. <laughs> That's fun. Oh no! Uh, all right. Get a gaming computer. Oh, I'll, I'll go Everything. ahead. I'll oh, go. Oh, oh oh! Hello. Hold on. I also see Who's here? there? What? Who's here? Wait. Yeah. What? Oh, oh. What? yo! Oh, it's Whoa. your boy, there, ladies and gentlemen. We are joined by the one and only Mr. Mick Lauer, our voice of Nylock. What's up? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm, my mouth is full of pizza right now. No, I that's that. Is, no, baby, baby, life. it's okay. You are you are another very busy person. Thank Please. you for even being here for as short as you could be around for. I know you're doing a lot of stuff right now. Um, I just wrapped. I just wrapped my shoot today. Oh well, so, okay. Do, do people know I'm what just, you're doing yet, or is that not been announced? Or I, I don't mean, know. I think some people clued it in together. I worked on the. There's a, a, a Markiplier project. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, excellent. Yeah. Cool. And I was out here for two weeks earlier in the month, and then I came back, and I had four more days I had to do. Okay. But yeah, and she was all done. I'm gonna go home, and just oh man, I'm, I'm excited to get back to life. Hell yeah! Well, hey, it's funny because uh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, another fellow Dandy Alliance member right here, Melly Grant. Uh, I don't yeah. think you guys haven't met before. Melly, this is Mick. Sorry. Mick Melly. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. And funnily enough, both of you are in the level that I wish I could screen share to you right now. Well, no, I'm playing it. I can't screen share it with you guys. Uh, because, uh, I think that it makes Discord and streaming go nuts because Discord is weird. Why do you have to be like that? Chris, I know. Why, why, why can't you just share? Why well, I got, why well, I got to do you like that? Well, if you look, you if you look Our on game. the stream, you can see it. But I don't know if you can, if you have a computer on you to see. I'm on my phone. Time. I don't have a computer. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Well, we're, we're showcasing a uh, a cool level um, that uh, is very spoilerific, but only we're only showing a little tiny bit of it. But it's the uh, the haunted it's it's the haunted hotel stage. Um, oh, nice. So we're going through this real quick, and it's an adventure between. Nylock, uh, Flame Girl, GameSoft, and the White Hat Hacker. So, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about the launch, bud? Uh, terrified, and uh, I don't know if the game is breaking and screwing up for people or what. And oh, you'll find out. Uh, yeah, I sure will. <laughs> don't worry, they'll tell you. Bro. Yeah, good You're lord almighty. For me earlier, so. Okay, well, good, good. Um, but uh, Mick, I need to get you a Steam key because I would love to see you. Uh, yeah, do you know if I can play it on a Mac? I can play it on a Mac, right? Uh, I we're we're trying to see about that. It's apparently we realized we have to like export them off of a Mac, and then we realized two days ago none of us have Macs like on the main staff. So we're looking into that. Hopefully it'll be okay. okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, but yeah, I'll I'll get back to you on it. I promise. I would love to grind through it once uh, you get it on the Mac. Hell yeah! Uh, what have you what have you been streaming playing lately? Actually, uh -huh. um. I haven't been streaming anything, and I've been, I haven't been playing anything. I've just been working on uh, Bloodstone Vendetta, man. Yeah, that's true. You are recording a lot. You're doing a lot of V. I feel like I caught you at, like, just the right time before you became, like, insanely busier than you already are all the time. So, uh... I mean, yeah, but, I mean, it's like you. Like, this is your baby. This is your passion project. This is what you've been working on for years, and, and I'm in the same boat with Bloodstone Vendetta, and... Mm -hmm. Just, you know, I spend most of my days just holed up in my house, drawing and animating and wishing I had 20 arms and, you know, 100 duplicates of myself. Yeah, or at least 20 or 100 people that could help you make it, but I know you're like me and you're just like, no, no. I gotta do oh, it no, all no, no, myself. No. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it, it's hard to, to just be like, oh no, if I just had more people, it'd be better. I mean, to a degree, that is right, but none of them are gonna care as much as I do, yeah. you know? None of them are gonna... And, yeah, so, I mean... I need to figure out how to relinquish some control because at the rate it's going, it's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so I have to, I have to accept that, you know, mm -hmm. other people get involved. Well, you know, that's the thing too, it's kind of to relate. 
Um, you know, with this well, game, like, certainly it would have been amazing to have, like, a huge, you know, publisher backing us and everything, but, right. you know, what I'm grateful for, you know, and especially with, with with 1C and everything, and as far as we were into development and everything, you know, they really let us go and do our thing, and the fact that we were able to do this whole project independently, defend, you know, independently funded and, you know, with help yeah. from a lot of amazing people, including the people watching us right now and everything, um, yeah, you know, I, I'm super grateful for that because it allowed me to do my passion project for four years, and finally, like, it's I, I'm still getting over the fact to answer your earlier question of like I can't believe that it's like oh yeah it's out like we did it it's yeah oh, Jesus Christ but bro I think like yeah it's nice to think about oh if there was a huge injection of third party money but <clears throat> at the end of the day I think there's a lot of I think that you should take a lot of pride and the supporters should take a lot of pride in the fact that this was supported by people who believed in it and who stuck with it and who wanted to see this thing happen. And so it makes it a lot more personal, you know, it makes it personal for you knowing that, you know, every dollar that funded this thing was from people who care and, and, and for them as well, that they get to see something that, you know, they invested in and, and that they know that you put the time and work into. So I think, yeah, obviously in a perfect world, you know, it, you know, it, you would want to do more with it if you could. But I think that the the silver lining of that is just that it's a lot more personal, and that everyone, uh, audiences and and yourself, should take a, a whole lot of pride in that. And you know what I'm proud of is the fact that I got to have you involved. You know, I mean, like, Aww, no, no, for you, real. I mean, you, you had a crazy cast. You pulled every single favor card you had, or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, know, no, man. no, no, for real, no. And you too, man. I mean, like, look, it was, we we talked about this a little bit earlier in uh, uh, in in the stream, but you know, I mean, like, obviously, Nylock was a very beloved character, of course, and uh, you know, I needed somebody special and somebody brilliant to be able to do a good job with him, and you absolutely did that. And then you, you settled on me. Thanks, bro. <laughs> no, no. No, truly, like, I mean, and I've known you for, I, I realize, I've known you for so long, because, like, I think at least a full decade now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, like, probably. my God, like, the fact that, like, you know, because we both got to start doing a lot of stuff on Newgrounds and everything, and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you getting to, you know, do such a great job with this character and everything, because you really did, like, you really, really did do him justice. Bro, and, I appreciate uh, all the compliments, but I gotta be honest, I only did it for the big, fat paycheck you promised. <laughs> so, yeah. That, yeah. that was really my main totally. motivator, dude. Oh my god. What was it? It was like 3k, 4k? I can't yeah. remember. What, yeah. Wait, what did, what did everybody else get? No, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Speaking yeah. of which, uh, if I can cut in for a second, yeah. it looks like yeah. you have a donation from Thomas the Dank. Oh, for a hundred dollars. Wow. Oh my God! Whoa. Whoa. Uh, Thank since you. Since I wasn't able to support the Kickstarter at the time, consider this my late Kickstarter pledge. Thank you all for the series Aww. and stream. This has been such a nostalgia trip. One of the main reasons I'm studying game design now. Congratulations on reality. Oh well, Thomas. Oh, well, to to Thomas the Dank. That's very useful of you. Thank you very much. That's such so gracious. Thank you. Uh, and <laughs> wow, you. yeah, my God. If I, if I l listen. Uh, this this game is literally just a giant tribute to every video game that I ever grew up with that I loved and adored as, as a child. You know, if I'm able to, ins God forbid, if I've inspired other people to want to take up doing video games and making them, I mean, I'll tell you right now, you're in for a ride. Uh, but if you stick with it and you love it, like, I wish you all the best because it's a great dream. Um, Dude, and, uh, that's like the best you. compliment. Yeah, yeah, that is like the God. best compliment. Anyone, anyone being inspired by anything you do is always just so fucking cool. I mean, it, it's crazy because like you know, people that uh, people that grew up with the stuff, like make the stuff that you and I did on Newgrounds and things. Like I've met people all the time that you know are a little younger than I am that are like, oh, you know, I I grew up with you know with your stuff on Newgrounds and everything, and I'm like, oh my God, that's you know, and so oh, I'm I'm doing animation. People who are like insanely like my far more talented I, I don't mean that to like rip on myself just to be honest like people that are way more talented than i am as artists and things. oh yeah and uh, oh, yeah. and i'm like oh my god if i played any level of uh, of a part of like inspiring you to do something creative it's like good lord so no so thomas thank you for that and, and to everybody who's been so complimentary like, like seriously that I, wow I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you have to finish your launch day, then you can. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, then I can die happy. No, I have more to do. I gotta put the OST yeah. out. I gotta put the the, the OST out. I I gotta uh, 
I, I gotta I gotta put up my full playthrough of the game on my channel. Like, I, you, you know, gotta I make the Mac version. version. You gotta make the yeah, version. yeah, I do. Game, but, GameSoft yeah. has so much damage. What the hell? Oh yeah. Catching up oh, on yeah. the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, she's she's got the. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's, she's got the uh, combat disc ability, which can take out uh, monster enemies in a single hit if you time it right, so. Oh my god. I would say I have a deeper connection to the game, but things have changed a little bit. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, and actually, on that note, I think I'm going to take off. I have a lot of writing to do, but okay. thank you so much for having me. Good luck. Already, yes. Good luck. Belly, thank you so much. You are wonderful. It's really, really nice I'm, meeting everybody. I'm, I'm so thankful yeah, for nice you, seriously. Yeah, Devin, so nice to hear your voice. And and I, I know we talked on, on Twitter a little bit, but I'm I'm so impressed by everything you've done. Um I it's really nice meeting all of you sure and I hope you get a chance to chat again. So if you're still somehow doing this at like midnight, I'll come back, but otherwise I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna go for too much longer, but no, but thank you seriously, Melly. Thank you for coming by. You're you're awesome. <laughs> thank you, Melly. Nothing to lose, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take care, friend. Bye. 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 Alrighty. I'll play at midnight. I'll go all night. Oh, Let's I, go. I, oh, I, I'm I, ready I, to go. I know you're gonna. I know that. Which, by the way, you should, a marathon. you should you should you should go and uh, you should go and plug your stream. By the way, please. Uh, no, I'm not gonna stream until like two hours. I'm still recovering from whatever the fuck. <laughs> no, that's no, but still, but even no, from but, your, but let your people party? know. So. Yeah, from my hardcore party. Yeah. What a perfect party. what a perfect time for the game to crash again. So, uh, but I no! think, but that's okay because I think I wanted to cut it off there anyway. So, uh, what did you want to show us in the the hotel area? Oh, just just a little Was bit of the, the first, just a little bit of the first the first part of the stage and everything. So, um, excuse me, I need to uh, use the facilities. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. Uh, I'll be Congratulations. right back in just a moment. You guys entertain the chat for just a minute, oh, and I'll be right back. All right, don't worry. We got, got this. this? Anyone, anyone know any is he gone? Jokes? Is he gone? gone? I think he's gone. All right, guys. Oh, okay. This is when we all talk about how we really feel about Curb, okay? Oh. And, and he'll come, he'll remember. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Actually, why would I be kidding? Of course I can really talk about it. I love Curb. He's, he's, you know what? Since I've known him, he's been working on Tone. Literally, from the time I've known, I mean, it was the cartoon at the time, mm -hmm. but, uh, dude, I can't even imagine what it's like to actually launch this thing. <laughs> he seems Dying. to be taking it really well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like, at, like right before you push the, the launch button, like, you know, when it's in the store and shit, <laughs> oh, <laughs> couldn't even imagine. I couldn't it's a, imagine. It takes a crazy amount of commitment and focus. I can't even fathom that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dev, what's up? Oh yeah, I'm here. Hi, I can't see. I can't see. Oh, wow. oh wow! I just jumped in. How are you doing, brother? Fuck. It's, it's, it's all good, bro. Uh, th things is always crazy with me, but uh, either way, great, great to hear you, man. It's been yeah. No, I mean, Curb's talking about. Oh, like I've known you so long, dude. I've known you just as long. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think we if you, if you guys don't know, Dev, Dev is like. Part of the reason I even fucking got anywhere on the internet. It was yeah, his yeah. voice. Oh, wow. You would have done it anyway. No, <laughs> no. Maybe I would have at some point, but it would have been the same, man. I took, he he did this amazing, uh, the, the dot, dot, dot review. I don't know if you guys ever heard it, but review it was so. By Acts 113, that whole. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. it was so freaking funny. I had this terrible stomach ache, so I couldn't sleep. So I went to Newgrounds and like, you know, eventually you see all the front page stuff, you see, you run through all the content and then I'm just like, screw it. So I went to audio for some reason, I don't know if it was featured or it was under comedy or something. And then um, I ended up listening to it and I just burst out laughing. I mean, you know, I'm deliriously tired and I was just bursting out laughing. And I just listened to it on repeat, like again and again and again. And then I was like, screw it. I'm not going to sleep. I might as well just make a typography animation about this. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, that was fun. And how much changed as a result of that for so many I only Everything. came into the last that, 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 like that. second of that, and I realized you were talking about dot dot dot, and I was like, oh yeah, wow. everything changed, man. <laughs> everything the changed. Why, the whole reason why Dustin and Lizzie and Tail happened was because of that, and then a bunch yeah. of people wow. <laughs> <laughs> crazy little is it, wow. is it, isn't that insane? Yeah. It's funny. I was just talking to I, I was hanging out with Lizzie Freeman yesterday, um, and uh, we were talking about. My God, the fact that like um, 
uh, you know, Dust is what nine years old now? Oh man! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we just let's... turned nine. Yeah, oh, nine. And and mm-hmm. the the mm-hmm. tome the 2011 series is turning ten in a couple months. Yeah. Good Boomer. Lord. That's yeah. not. I know. And so uh, very old. but the fact that uh, I mean, and and TTA is uh, Edwin. I think uh, seventeen this year. Don't oh, don't no. say things that make me feel old, man. I'm gonna have to be honest. I actually haven't seen the original series, so I have to go watch that. I think. What TTA? <laughs> yeah. Please, please. <laughs> no, please, please, <laughs> please don't ever do that. Please, oh, for the love okay. of God. Okay, oh, now it's definitely gonna happen. Oh, now it's yeah. definitely. Gonna happen. Yeah, I think wow. I have to now. Wow. Good yeah. lord. Uh, Good lord. Uh, I missed the boat on TTA. Yeah, of course. Like, a lot of people I, did, of course. Well, I was on, because I, I came on Newgrounds around 07, because that was when I was starting to, like, try to dabble into animation and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I think I saw it there, but I, I got more into, like, Shin and, like, Life Point One stuff. Oh, wow, shit. Wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. We, have, we, have a, we, have a, we have a living legend in our midst. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I really... I really dominated the scene. But yeah, so uh, TTA marathon win. We're doing it. Now, boy. Yeah. By the way, speaking to go. speaking speaking of TTA, <laughs> speaking of TTA, uh, I mentioned way earlier at the beginning that uh, Chris Zito. Uh, lovely. Oh, Ooh. sorry. By the way, real quick, Lasame one just wanted to say thank you for making this game. Look forward to finding my character in the game. Thank you for the five dollars super chat. Really appreciate that. Um, thank so, you. So Chris Zito is one of three people uh, that uh, not only were in uh, that that I've known for years and and uh, you know recorded their same characters, um, but uh, that, that that have you know they're, they're reprising. But yeah, they're playing their same characters. That were from, mm. that were from TTA. Uh, Zito is one of three people that got to do that. Um, I love that. One of the other people is in this room with us right now, and uh, all I'll say is, uh, if you guys want to get the true ending of the game, uh, and therefore you're going to have to 100% the game. We mentioned ear- we mentioned earlier you have to collect all those rainbow cube items, and. Uh, I'm not saying there's a super, super secret, really difficult uh, extra boss that you have to fight against to therefore unlock the true ending, uh, but I'm not, 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 not saying that there isn't a secret boss that you, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you know. I need to 100%. I need to do it. I remember that punch, the clashing oh. of bone and sinew. <laughs> I can't believe Cyborg Wait. Ninja is going to be... I cannot show. believe it! <laughs> do, you, do you feel it yet? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, uh, let's, let's, let's do something. Let's do something fun. Uh, I'm going to have... Okay, so if those of you who haven't been following them already uh, on our Twitter, which is at uh, T-O-M-E-R-P-G, at TomeRPG on Twitter... Um, we have been doing daily uh, voice actor announcements um, mm-hmm. to reveal more and more of the cast throughout all of September, or all of August, and then still going up through September. Uh, but uh, I thought, you know what? Why don't I go ahead and for here? I'll still have the daily announcements on Twitter, but uh, as the game is out, and I would really love to show off all these wonderful, wonderful folks that uh, I have um, got on board the project. So. Uh, I am going to open up, and I hope to God that this will not be a jerk to me. Um, let me see if I can... We get a reveal? We get we get a special yeah, on-screen reveal? Yeah, I think I'm going to go Ooh. ahead and show all of the other... Uh, and actually, it's it's funny, with with perfect timing as I, as I kind of spaced it out, um, the ones that hadn't been revealed yet are specifically... Uh, the ones that are part of the, um, how do you say, the, the like, the meta game staff. Uh, obviously, Tome takes place in a fictional MMORPG, of course. Right. Um, so, the, the Net King characters, the lords of the different Tome regions and everything, um, they each rule over uh, a different, 
uh, area and everything, and they are all based on, in, in the universe of Tome, they are based on the developers that made the MMO that our heroes are playing, basically. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So, uh, what I wanted to do uh, to kind of, like, stay in line with that sort of... Um, uh, method of, uh, of of like old school game development is I made sure that all of the actors that I'm about to re reveal to you, each of them only played characters that were meant to be like real NPCs, not like other players that are like logging on and, you know, wreaking havoc and doing MMO stuff. They were specifically meant to be like, hello, I am a villager that repeats the same thing over and over when you talk to me or whatever, like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, and and basically, so there's there was, a, there was a list of like the kind of Net King software voice actors that did all of that stuff. And every single one of these guys that I'm going to show you did a tremendous amount uh, of work, you know, as all these other additional characters and things. And it was truly, truly, truly incredible to me that uh, I was able to uh, to get some of the people in particular, you know, um, Mick was saying earlier, like, oh my god, what a cast and everything. This is this is the this is the kind of area uh, with these people that I'm going to show you in a second that I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe I got this person and this person and this person. Uh, so. Uh, I mean, technically, you feel that way about all of us, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. of course. Yes. No, right. I know, I know, yes, I know. Of course. Um, uh -huh. So, uh -huh. so first of all, uh, we have. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll go. Wait, oh, what? what? Okay. Someone just came in. It's no. what? What? No. 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 Okay, no. 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 nobody came in. <gasps> baby, can... baby boy. Can... Hello. <laughs> no, don't. Hi. No, do not leave. I'll kill you. I'll actually kill you. Uh, it's a joke. <laughs> I'll, hunt, I'll, hunt, I'll hunt you down. Uh, YouTube, it's a joke. We have YouTube. It's a, yes, YouTube. It's a joke. YouTube, it's a joke. Thank you. Um, we're joined <laughs> by because uh, we're actually getting close to the end here. Uh, we're joined by the lovely and talented Mr. Alejandro Saab. Uh, hey, hello. Vo vo voice of Alpha and also the singer of Together We Shadows One, our main theme song. Hi. You can see your playlist. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's DLC. It's, oh, okay. It's, DLC yeah, it it it's a very ghetto setup. I'm not nearly as professional as you are. Um, hi, yeah, trust thanks me, for. I know. I know you had no. Well, I mean, you had a lot to do today. Thank you for making time to come in and hang out with us for a little bit. Of course. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Uh, how are you doing? How do you? How do you? How are you feeling about uh, today <laughs> in general? Uh, I, I mean, uh, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. And tired. Uh. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> hey, hey, Alejandro. Yes. How's, how's the gym been for you? How have you been feeling that? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, they were running, they were running you through the mill. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, this week I had to cancel, uh, yesterday because, uh, uh, I got so busy, and also um, my, my legs are still hurting from yeah, working out on Monday. Yeah, I was going to say, you wanted to be able to walk the next day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, they had me do this thing called like rocket jumps. Oh, that already sounds like hell. But yeah, yeah it, essentially you squat and then you jump and oh. then you go right back into it, and it's mm, that mm, constantly. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. the, I, I, the I need to be. Day, I'm like my legs, bro. I need to be. I, I, I need to be joining you because I, I'm I'm doing this whole exercise routine and I'm 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 drinking fucking protein shakes twice a day now like good lord i gotta i gotta get out there with you you're trying to bulk up? I, 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 I can't tell if you're serious or if you're fucking memeing no i know i'm 100 percent serious yeah oh, okay cool yeah yeah no for real because i uh i because since i hurt my arms making this fucking game that we released today uh i'm Yay. like hey you know what i i would feeling okay i'm i'm all right but i'm like i need to not let that happen ever again yes Le Lemony Pie, thank you for the $5 super chat. It's so great to see you follow your passion. I found Tome at a very low point and it got me through with its tense moments and big laughs. Congratulations. Thank you, Lemony Pie. I hope that the game thank does you. the same for you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, uh, I need to get my body in a better condition, so I'm trying to bulk up and I'm eating a lot more and doing protein and working out twice a day and all this shit, so I need to join you at the gym sometime. I'm all yeah. about that. I'm yeah. all yeah, about don't, seeing you guys I, taking better care of yourselves. Hey. You guys are young, but it's preventative. I'm telling you as an old man, because I'm the oldest man you know. Yeah, I, you I guys, forget you're old because you look so young. I'm super old. But like seeing you guys <laughs> taking care of yourselves, it always warms my fucking heart because oh. you have no idea how helpful that shit is to you guys later on. Seriously. Of course. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, you, yeah. well you, you take care of yourself just fine, too, Mickles. 
Yeah, I take care of myself with a fucking bottle of sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look, dude, look, you're Asian. You don't age anyway, so like it's, it's fine. Until sure. I do. No. Yeah, until I do. <laughs> well, Chris, Chris, yeah. I'm so proud of you for finally taking Homestar Runner's advice and working out twice a day. Working yeah. out twice a day yeah. and complain twice as hard. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh Alejandro, I guess just to catch you up with some of the stuff that we did earlier. Uh I don't know, any any particular things about Alpha or like moments from the story that we did without getting too spoilery that you really liked? Uh without getting spoilery? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean what what have you guys talked about? There's there's that one bit where um Oh god, that 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 uh Alpha goes off with like Nylock and I, I have to do a, a thing. I'm trying to be as vague as possible. Oh yes, there there's some there's some role play. There's some role play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. indeed, yes, indeed. And then also we actually we, we did play through a little bit of the uh, Alpha goes to Vegas and becomes a gambling addict level earlier. Oh god, yeah, 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 yeah that was yeah, my that other was one. Fun, was, I was like, yeah. what can't I? <laughs> I, I? I gotta say, I I do believe I said this on the on the the Twitter announcement. I was so relieved because, truth be told, when I was writing Alpha throughout the whole course of the production, I was like, oh my god, like, I feel like he's the most boring of the main characters. I, I, I'm being completely sincere about this. I felt he was totally boring compared to all of the other main characters, and especially because, of course, he was the star of the, the 2011 series, um, sure. and he didn't have as, like, you know, as, like, leading, like, I'm, like, the core of the whole story kind of role, you know, because I got rid of the... This the, time around, well, yeah. Well, yeah, because I got rid of the whole, like, you die in the game, you die for real sci-fi type elements or whatever. Um, but I wanted him to be funny and cute and endearing and entertaining. <laughs> and um, a lot of the folks that I, I was doing testing with, they were just like, I love him. He's such a good boy. And I feel like a lot of it actually had to do with how much your performance, like, shone through with him. You did such a good job with him, dude. Seriously. I'm glad! Yeah. Um, he is a good boy. Yeah, yes. I. Uh, yes. I also. I, I. I. told you about this in private, but I'll say it here. There was also a moment where uh, I was testing with uh, one of my friends, and you were fighting against a certain boss, and the line. Uh -huh. The line was uh, like, "Oh, it's kind of cute, but." Let's smash it into a million pieces, and you get like, <laughs> you get kind of like sexy in the second half, and the friend playing was like. <laughs> You can't do that to me. You can't, <laughs> you can't make me attracted to Alpha. It's not fair, dude. Oh, uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm getting a message from somebody. I need to see. Hold on. Hold I'm holding. On. Hold on, hold on. I'm I, gotta, holding. I gotta see if he can join us. Hold on. I'm holding. But wait, uh, um, there's a question uh, by Goat and Watch. Mm hmm. Uh, and where can they possibly report bugs or soft locks? Mm. Mm. Uh, yes, oh. what, the, the, the best, the best place would be uh, on the Steam forums, like the community forums for Tome, uh, or if you mm. want to tweet at us. Uh, and I'll actually even say, this is this is a very, a very important thing to mention. Um, I... Uh, Oh, crap. Sorry, sorry. Somebody was messaging me they can't join because they're not going to be available on time, unfortunately. Um, is uh, if, if you have anything in terms of, like, reproduction steps, as, as uh, Nathan would call them, then the easier it is for us to be able to track down the bug and see if we can fix it. Um, there are some things where it's like, the game just crashed here. And I'm like, why? I don't know. Then it's like, okay, then I don't... I don't know what to do with that. So there's only so much that we can do. So the more information you can give us, uh, the more helpful that will be. Um, and we will try to be as diligent as humanly possible with fixing stuff. Um, Nathan's time is very, very limited uh, in terms of being able to make fixes and things to the game. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Steam forums or tweet at, uh, at TomeRPG on Twitter. Uh, to um, yeah, if you if you find anything like that, especially if it's like really catastrophic or something, so, um, so, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, um, let's do, uh, let's do a some voice actor announcements. Uh, do it. So do it. So let's I'm gonna. Do it. So oh, oh, I'm, oh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the stream. Yes. All right, Let's here we go. go. All right, I, I'm sharing this with you. I think that this won't crash, I hope. All right, so here we go. All right, so first off, uh, let's go through the uh, Dojo Masters, which were these were some of our other $500 backer uh, tier Ooh. characters from the Kickstarter, Ooh. and these are the characters you can fight against in a one-on-one -on -one match to unlock a new ability. And uh, I got some lovely folks for them. 
Uh, starting off with uh, the dojo master of the Adotus Woods, Bolamore. Come on now, little one. You can do better than that, can't you? Try taking me on again. Worst by the ever lovely my my the mob to my Reagan, uh, uh, Kyle McCarley. He is. Oh awesome. my god. He is. Ex- he is excellent, of course. And God, he did so many, so 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 many voices in this, like tons of villagers. All these guys did. And, Wait, uh, that's mob. Yeah, yeah, and there, 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 there may, there may or not, may not be uh, a, a little toaster boy floating around somewhere that kind of sounds suspiciously like mob. I'm not saying, but uh, maybe you look around the city area. Uh, we also had the dojo master of the uh, of of Chris Burrell Kingdom, the Morg- of Morganite Valley. It seems you need a little more practice if you hope to beat me in my artistry. Perhaps you could try again. Christopher Hackney, yes, in, hey, in, in oh, fact of, of uh, yes, the goodest of boy, my uh, my my evil doppelganger, as we've often joked about for many years, uh, and of course everybody knows him, of course for Fire Emblem, and I think is he is he in Genshin Impact? A bunch bunch of anime. No, stuff. You have I don't to think give so me a name. Yet? You have to give me a character name. Maybe not not, not yet, but probably get <laughs> probably in due time. Yeah, but he is excellent and uh, such 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 great. He's a, he's a fellow uh, a fellow househead like you, Alejandro from Three Houses, of course. He's the yeah. fourth, he's the he, you're, you're, you're the you're the fourth house, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Their yeah. house is on the basement. Oh, of course, right, of course, of oh. course. Yeah, yeah. So they're either rejects. Uh, we also have this yeah. was uh, I think one of, one of the other. Oh, oh you know what's funny. Uh, Alejandro, we were joking earlier when Faye was uh, was in the in the chat about how uh, you and Faye were some of the only people that voiced your own backer characters. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So so you were you were your self insert Kagi character, and yep. uh, Faye donated for a character this little cute dragon girl named Rumor, and uh, we had another guy, a certain a certain guy. Uh, I don't know. He's done some video games, I guess. I don't know. That uh, I also let him voice his persona, I, his uh, character that he donated for. Uh, another overzealous oh. runt like usual. If you want to oh. take me on again, you better try a different strategy. Don't give up. Sure but keep working sure. hard. Yeah, so oh Sean, my god. So Sean, Sean Chiplock of Zelda and Burn the Witch and tons of other things, of course, I had him voice. And JoJo. And Joey JoJo jo- Star jo- Jones. Jo- oh, that's right. Was, jo- he, jo- was, he, was he in part five with you, right? Yeah, you yes. my mister. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, um, my mister, mister, she broke it. Oh, yeah, oh so. mister. So he's he's also you scattered know. around and a bunch of as a bunch of different guys. He also did. Uh, he also snuck in a really hilarious Zelda reference in a, a certain level that involves uh, Alpha and Nylock later on. Um, that uh, I should kill him for, but I'm like, no, it's brilliant. I'm keeping it. Uh, next we have. <laughs> Uh, uh, a lovely lady. It was my first time working with her, and she also was the performer uh, of Kinder Spirits theme, uh, 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 Give Up the Ghost. And I had her uh, voice a character kind of very last second as well, but she's the fourth and final and most powerful of all four, all four of the Dojo Masters. It would appear I have more power in my single hand than you do in your entire being. Come back when you've gained a bit more strength to match mine. Cassie Wulu, Sapphire, Safberry, of the many different names. Oh, that she goes Saf! By. I love yes, that. Yes, there ah, she is. Ah, Excellent. Yeah, she was great. That was great. Um, I also actually big shout out to her as well. She was also the mixer on Together We Shout as One, uh, as because yeah, uh, yeah. we had to find somebody to do that. And uh, mm-hmm. and then she she really delivered. So yeah, huge shout out to her. She was excellent. Oh yeah, she's um, very multi talented. Oh she's, yeah, she's freaking fabulous. Absolutely. Um, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, you've been friends with her for a long time, huh? Yeah, and yeah. actually, um, there was this game called No Way Home by SMG. Yes, it's a, it's a mobile right. game. That's right. Uh, that she's the she's the main protagonist of, and I was just really happy that I could get her on board. And um, oh, yeah, she she kills it. She's she knows what she's doing. She, Super she's cool. and she sings and she mixes and she fucking she does a lot of does shit. Does it all? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Next up, uh, we have a lovely lady who I just had lunch with yesterday and. Mac and I have known uh, this talented young lass for a very long time, pretty much since she started. 
uh, since she started doing voiceover. And uh, it's funny because uh, Dust is turning nine years old, and that was her very first professional job. And now she is doing so many incredible things. She's starring in shows, and she just got a new signed with an amazing agent. And um, she did so many different NPCs in the game. And uh, so the one that I'm crediting for her, her for in the next video... Uh, is uh, but one of the many, but one that I love and adore so, so much. And here she is. Who's that? Wait, that's not the one. Oops. <laughs> God, that not God. that person. Never. I hate that person. Nope, sorry. God damn it. I I got and the order wrong. Uh, hold on, no. hold on. Sorry, oh, sorry. You hold got on. it. You Spoiler got alert. it. Spoiler alert. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, yeah, I spoiled one. Oopsie. Oop. Sorry. Oopsie, oopsie. Oopsie, do oopsie doodles. But she's cool too. She yes, yeah, she is. She is very cool. I know no disrespect meant at all. Don't don't get me wrong. Hold up, hold up. All right, we're reassessing. We're reassessing. Give me a second. All right, where'd you go? Hold up. There you are. Okay. 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 One more time. Take two. Oh, didn't notice you there. I had this tutorial about the basic controls. You didn't share this. Here. Did you want us? Oh, whoops! Sorry. Uh, oh. Here, you get to play. You get to hear it all again. Here we go. Ready? Oh, didn't notice you there. I had this tutorial about the basic controls. Here, did you want to see it? I love her and adore her so much. <laughs> baby. And, and the character too. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. baby. Like, uh, Lizzie Your did story. so much. I mean, Mac, you've you've seen Lizzie's talent, like just. Oh, yeah. oh, you got Lizzie! Decade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you not? Yes. Oh, that's right. Wait, Mick. I don't think you can see my screen sharing, so you can't see the clips that I'm playing. Yeah, sorry. Uh, nope. <laughs> my bad. Uh, but they're great. I promise you'll be able to hear them all. Um, yeah, Lizzie did so much great stuff. Uh, she also voiced another character in the game that uh, <laughs> is um, uh, horrible and the most annoying thing ever. But also, I love them. You'll meet them in the uh, in the second chapter of the game. Uh, they're they're called the Qu the Quizzle, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're yeah, yeah. Adam Adam knows Adam knows what's coming with that. All right, also, so hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. We also got a nine ninety nine uh, uh, donation. What? Oh my God! Lizard. You found your dream, chased it, and got it done. As you gave us home, I'm gonna give some cash to you, the Battle Grid. Thank you for the ten dollar donation, Gung Ho Lizard. Much appreciated. Aww. So kind of you. Very um, cool. Very cool, yeah. all right. All right. So next up, we have the Net Kings. We have the the Lords of Tome, the the based on the developers, the creators from Net King Software. Um, so, as with the 2011 web series, uh, when I did that back in the day, I uh, I wanted to get some very very cool veterans, people that I'd looked up to for a long time, uh, that I loved the work of for many years. And um, you know, but again, since of course I was going with a whole new cast for this, I was like, okay, well now I have to find a whole another set of veterans. But in the last, uh, you know, God, like seven to eight years now that I've been living in LA, uh, I've had the opportunity to meet and work with so many incredible people, um, and sometimes even people that I just hit up. And I'm like, will you be in my thing, person that I grew up with for thirty years? And they're like, yeah, okay. And I'm like. What? <laughs> so, uh, and one such example, uh, a man who, uh, he's just been wonderful to me. He's like my surrogate poppy out here. He's everybody's crazy uncle. Uh, as the voice of the net king of the Adotus Woods, Chief Batopio, here he is. Fear me as I open the box of pure pain onto you all. And that is a real, oh real, God. real deep cut reference to TTA. That is a, this is the lovely and talented Mr. Michael Sorich. He's uh, uh, a, a, a dimple on Mob Psycho 100. He worked on oh Power Power Rangers, Digimon, Cyborg 009, Bobo Bo, tons of stuff. He is wonderful. And my God, what a gas he was to work with. I love him. Wait, is he Bobo Bo? No, he direct. He was the voice director he's of Bo right. of Bo okay, of yeah, Bobo yeah. Bo. and he was in it too. I forget he's what character. So familiar. But he uh, yeah, familiar. yeah, he's so much fun, and uh, yeah, he's That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, next one. This is one that I think is gonna go and gonna blow people's minds. Okay, so um, Queen Ruler Ruby is the. I, I wanted to have some equality with uh, with the Net King, so I decided to have. Okay, I want two women, two men. And one uh, kind of gender ambiguous in between type of voice, as with for webmaster, of course. So, uh, since uh, Ruby Rules was our poopy headed asshole uh, villain of the series, I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna just mix him and I'm gonna switch him out for a, a gender bent version of him. 
And um, so a, a certain person came to mind who I had never, I, this is a person who I'd never met before, but God, I grew up with them for so long. And I just friended them on Facebook, cold sent them and I said, hey, love your work. I'd love to work with you. I have this character for you. Would, would you be up to for doing it? And I also want to give a very special thanks to uh, Raleigh Pickens from Okatron uh, 5000, where they record all, all the Dragon Ball video games and like Smite and tons of stuff. Um, he was able to make this happen in terms of getting her to record. Queen Ruler Ubi, I'm literally choking up at this one. A queen is nothing without her subjects. And more to the point, I am nothing without my entourage. <laughs> I literally thought to myself, oh my God. you know, what if Frieza Whoa. was a Disney villainess? <laughs> oh, wow. my Yeah, God. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Linda Young, uh, what a joy. Uh, she was just absolutely wonderful, a consummate professional, and when you hear some of the stuff that she got to do on this character and uh, perhaps another sort of semi-associated character, you're going to lose your minds. She was so much fun to work with. So, yeah, big thanks to her. Nice. Um, the next man is uh, one of the very first professional voice actors that I ever worked with any on anything, ever. Literally all the way back in 2006 or seven when I was doing Parody Rangers. Um, and uh, he was also one of the first people that I ever interviewed. You guys probably heard a little bit of a tiny smidgen of him as a different character than the one you're going to hear a clip of him as in a second. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, funny thing was, is the, the character that I'm about to show, uh, president exec, um, the very first version of him was voiced by, uh, my dad <laughs> in, in, oh. in TTA. He was voiced by my dad, uh, way, way back. Yeah. And he had a little bit of like a New York, cause my dad's like born and bred in New York, a little bit of like a New York accent going on kind of I thing, you know, that. of course. And so, um, and then of course, funnily enough in the, in the series, uh, John St. John, of course, of Duke Nukem and many Sonic the Hedgehog so game, cool. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, did him in that and did a little bit of the New York accent. So, and of course my dad and I, you know, I was growing up always knowing that I've been a big Sonic fan. And so there was, uh, a certain person very heavily associated with Sonic the Hedgehog that I knew would be perfect for this role. And he also played President, uh, Vice President Bincho, who was heard a little tiny bit, and he was a goofy, whack job of a character. But uh, I'm sure you all know what's coming. Here he is. Thank you kindly. I have one last thing to share with you all. A gift. Nothing fancy, but it's the least I can do for your valiant efforts to not only myself, but this entire city. So yeah, I have known oh Mike. God. I've known Mike Pollock really for excellent. <laughs> Get a load of this. Uh, yeah, I've known Mike for about <laughs> about fifteen years, and uh, he has always been just like, oh, you want to, you want, you need something, you got it. I'm there. What, what, you know, what do you need? And I, uh, so yeah, big I'm thanks cool. to him. I met him like once, and it was I don't know if you remember when I was gonna um, direct this indie game that was happening. And like you helped, you actually helped me with the <clears throat> with the list for that. Mm -hmm. And we ended up casting Mike, and he was the first person I ended up having to live direct. And I had like no experience live directing anyone, and he was like <clears throat> one of the sweetest, most chill people ever. And just love him. Such a cool, <laughs> such a cool dude. And I, I'm very, very glad. <laughs> Mike Pollock is Curb's dad. No, not quite. <laughs> I mean, but technically, now. he was on like. <laughs> Kirby right yeah. back at you. That's, that is true. Yeah, that is true. He was not Kirby's Kirby. dad, however. Um, but, uh, all right, next up, uh, that, so this is the one that was spoiled, of course. So, you know, I'll just go ahead and play this one since uh, you guys got to see a little bit of her, but she was so lovely. Who's that, you might wonder? Why, it's me in the flesh. Well, figuratively, anyway. <laughs> So I had the pleasure of getting to work with G.K. Bose on uh, a licensed game that I voice directed. Uh, it was a Walking Dead uh, VR game for the folks at Servios. And uh, G.K. was our voice match for Michonne, a character from the show. So I got to know her and I was like, hey, you know, I loved you in Bleach and Gretzko and all this, you know, great anime stuff. And we worked on we worked on one of the many uh, uh, Alpha and Omega direct-to-video sequels together, her and I. <laughs> We were both in oh one of those. Oh, my God. And, um, and so uh, I, she just came to mind quickly for, for Kinder Spirit and, and gave her this, like, kind of sultry but also mysterious and almost kind of creepy sort of vibe for 
her. And um, she did not end up, of course, doing the song for Kinder Spirit. That, that of course, went to Sapphire. But, uh, yeah, she had some crazy, long, like, ridiculous monologues, a lot of very, like, disturbing sort of subtextual stuff with her character and things, and, uh, mm-hmm. and some interesting mysteries uh, surrounding uh, Empress Kinder Spirit in this version. But, uh, yeah, she was excellent. Uh, so... Uh, the next one, I'm just going to play the next one and then, and then explain it, because this is a very different kind of one that maybe uh, mm-hmm. you won't be expecting quite as much. Welcome, Warrior of Tome. Are you here oh. to register you and your guild for the Campaign of Champions' first regional event? So, uh, for those of you who may or may not be familiar with the series, uh, there were these two characters who were... Um, like, announcer, kind of, like, coordinator people for a tournament happening. Uh, The RPG uh, incarnations of them uh, have some very different kind of roles. Um, This character, Andeva, who is actually a gender swap uh, of Aneva, who is from the series, uh, because they're yin-yang sort of themed, and so I felt, okay, then then I've gender-bent a few characters to be female in this incarnation, so I figured, you know what, this one makes sense to have uh, gender-bent to be male, uh, to kind of have that sort of uh, theme going on. And uh, Rico has been just such... Obviously, Alejandro, you've been friends with him for a long time. You guys have done so many things together. Great musician and singer as well. Um, Rico has been so incredibly kind and giving every single time I meet him, and actually... Uh, he was one of the people that I had in consideration for a Kerberfer at one point. Um, there were a few different people that I, I was oh, thinking wow. of for him. Um, and uh, it was kind of a fallback option for a bit. And I was like, you know what? I really want to work with Rico. He's such a fucking talented guy and such a lovely human being. And um, and so I decided to go with him for this character. S- small, small role, but uh, has a big impact and is actually very important. And I can't say anything more than that. You'll have to get to the very know. end of the game to find out why. Um, mm-hmm. So he was great. And uh, now we have another one who I'm very grateful uh, actually really had the time because she was going through uh, uh, a bit of a crazy life situation at the time that we were recording, but was lovely. I'd only ever met her very briefly before, and I cast her because she was the uh, lead in a dot .hack uh, kind of spin-off OVA thing, and uh, in kind of tribute to that, of course. Uh, and of course, because Bryce Pappenbrook is kind of mixed into the cast as well. So... Uh, I had her in and uh, played one of my personal favorite characters, uh, who is the announcer of the Campaign of Champions and uh, coordinator for the whole thing. This uh, this character actually is uh, a real person. They like it's them kind of almost kind of like a VTuber type of thing, kind of acting out, uh, doing all these events and stuff. And uh, so here's Forever, and she is voiced by the lovely and talented. Forever here, coming to you live from the terrain of magical expertise, and this is the Campaign of Champions. And of course, you got to hear Trina earlier today on uh, the third and final trailer that we put out, uh, so she was excellent. <laughs> huge, huge thanks to her uh, for making the time to uh, to play this role, and, uh, and yeah, she was awesome. And then finally, last but not least, I cheated a little bit. I did have somebody, she was in the web series as a very brief little, you know, one episode, two episode character, um, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to have for the Net Kings two, two women, two men, and one kind of gender ambiguous person. I'm sure probably a lot of people have figured out who this actor was, because we heard a little bit of them in the very first trailer that we put out a few months back, um, but as she was the lead in Dot Hack, she's a woman who's played lots of men, and, uh, you know, she has been one of my biggest supporters ever since I moved to L.A. She is a veteran of this industry, and, you know, she's like family to me. She's she's incredible. Um, we have, last but certainly not least, Mona Marshall as the godly webmaster. It appears the campaign of champions is going excellently. I've been very impressed by your efforts. My fellow Net Kings have done well to find courageous individuals and guilds with strong ties of friendship. And, uh... That is uh, that is our entire voice cast for the Terrain of Magic Ooh, Expertise good RPG. Good choice for Webmaster. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, it was, uh... It was a crazy several months worth of recording, and uh, and all of you guys, everybody in here who worked on it, uh, I, I you know, Mac, Alejandro, Mick, all of you guys, and and uh, Edwin, um, you know, uh, Mac for the co-direction with with Zeno and Michael and and uh, and Griffin, 
uh, I'm so pleased with how the portrayals of all these characters that have meant so much to me for so long have turned out. Aww. I, Aww. I really can't thank you enough, like seriously. And uh, Thank you for letting me write all the stupid stuff that I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wow. Uh, well, we have gone for, wow, three and a half hours. So let's let's uh, I'll I'll wait it out for another five minutes and make it even and then we'll uh, we'll call it quits here. But um, uh, oh and thank you, uh, R Slick ninety six for the twenty dollars super chat, dude. I used to watch the twenty eleven tome series in my college anime club. Wow, times fly. Congrats on the game. I missed the Kickstarter, so here's a donation. Thank you so much for that. Oh um, man, yeah, That's nice. Um, guys, uh, r- real quick, let's go down the line. Um, uh, and I'll I, no, I'll pick the order because because fuck it all. Um. Uh, let, let, let's give some some closing thoughts just about everything, the project, etc. Alejandro, go. Oh well, that's not fair. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> go. Uh, Don't fuck it up. Uh, you know, man. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, this is great. Uh, Baba Deep Dot nailed it. <laughs> The end. Amazing. Did I fuck it up? Uh, <laughs> no, in all, in all seriousness, thanks for thanks for having me. This was uh, super fun. I, I I myself was a fan of a uh, tome uh, growing up. Uh, so to, to get to be a part of it in some way, shape, or form is really cool. Yeah, you, you. I always forget you donated to the the season two uh, GoFundMe thing that we did like before I moved here, even. Oh yeah, Good yeah, Lord. yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Well, no, no, and th- th- thank you, and and I will. I hope. I hope a certain uh, handsome cyborg uh, gets to, gets the the chance to get his hands <laughs> on the game at some point too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the near future, uh, Adam. Oh. You just like flipped it. That's yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you know it. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Wow. It's like, like I didn't do much, but I was very honored that you asked me to help you out in the ways that you did. Um. I've always enjoyed your work, mm-hmm. and being someone that's from Long Island, you know, it was it was always like a little stuff. It's like, oh, cool. There's someone like from my area that also does the shit that I do. So that was cool. Um. But it's been, it's been a lot of fun watching you do this and make this game happen and persevere through four years of yeah. stress and it's not easy but you you did it and you're a lot stronger than you think you are stop stop breaking your arms though um fair <laughs> you you should be proud you have a very supportive fan base that are so into this game and very supportive friends and industry professionals dude you you, you did it and you should mm-hmm. really feel accomplished Thank you, man. And yeah, no, for, for, for thank you for you and, and, uh, and Germ, Germ Gilman, shout out to JT Beyond Germ, both of you guys. Thank you so much for being my replacement arms the last like three months of needing to test through this game a thousand times. I, I, I can't help, I can't thank you enough for that in particular. And also thank you for, you I mean, you were one of the donators, you know, you, I was happy to have your character in the game as well. And I was happy to pick on him and happy to voice him sarcastically. <laughs> so, oh my God. Uh, Mikkel. Yo. Yes, you, you, um, you go. I, I, you know, I just gotta say, like, you know, we're we're in a time when, you know, people with more money and a bigger team, they don't even, um, they don't always come through with their promises. And considering that it was mostly you through all the challenges and and just you know with balancing life and everything, but still sticking to it. Because you made that promise and wanting it to make you know make it as good as you could, mm-hmm. uh, I think that speaks volumes, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that's really inspiring to everyone. I mean, to me especially, but I think anyone who knows the journey you had to go through, uh, I think it means a lot. I mm-hmm. think that's something I always respected about you. Uh, I know we don't hang out or you know a lot, and we don't talk a lot. I mean, we I still should. consider you a friend, but we should. God damn it, I don't know why. We I, don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, like even from a distance, you know. It's uh, it's something that everybody, um, you know, I think everybody, whether they were fans of Tome or not, were just like, damn, he he is dedicated, and that is not just dedicated, but you came through, and that that's something you should never, never, you know, underplay that. Like, hold that dear to yourself. That's it's a life thing, man. That's like that's a notch in your life belt, dude. Yeah. Well, and thank you for all the kindness that you've shown me for the last, like, decade plus, however long it's been. I, you know, I still remember, like, the first conversations we had over, like, Newgrounds DMs and then fucking, 
you know, our early Yu-Gi-Oh auditions and all that stuff, and just like yeah, how, dude. how far both of us has come. And for fuck's sake, you're 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 a JoJo. You are yeah, a man. JoJo. JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, you're all of t- you, you created Tome, dude. Mm-hmm. I, I had a dub role in JoJo. You created fucking Tome, <laughs> dude. So. Well, now you're while you're making your own goddamn JoJo, practically. So. I am. I am. I'm taking after you. Oh. All right, um, Andy. We have a ten dollar. We have a ten. Oh, we do. Oh, we oh. got two donations. Oh, 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 we got a ten dollar donation from Jules Coda and a twenty pound donation from Ryston. Jules Coda says, "I watched the 2011 version in middle school and met my best friend through it, and inspired me to pursue my." art and dream projects from then on please take this as my late pledge and as thank you thank you so much jules code i really appreciate that and ryson's donating extra even with with pledging in the kickstarter congrats on releasing the game and all the work on tome and its history uh jw oh just wondering what controllers are supported for the game and what would the best ones be to use personally um adam what did you use a ps4 controller i think right i used uh, PS4. Yeah, PS4, and I used a, an Xbox 360 controller. Um, I don't know if absolutely every single type of controller would work, but those two should, and the keyboard as well, um, I would say. So I hope I hope it all turns out well, and thank you so much for your, your super chats, guys. I appreciate you. Um, all right, Andy, you're next. This isn't fair because I'm already crying. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, already I'm the one who should be crying. <laughs> Good Lord. This is my fucking second time crying on a tome video <laughs> oh, i did it in person with the finale at ai oh. ah, chris i'm so proud of you that you've oh. got this game completed this is so embarrassing i'm so sorry <laughs> <It's not. laughs> did you not hear the part about how i gave money and then i gave money <laughs> it's fine wow you also <laughs> gave money <laughs> this is a dream come true for me because I've always wanted to work with you and I got to help you and even though it's a small part it's still like I got my name in video game credits and that's like so surreal it hasn't really set in and I don't know I wish I could have done more to help you and I miss you so much oh, <laughs> I come, miss being come Callie out here missing. come come visit again please oh my god I would love too, oh and gosh. I wish I could have been there for you in person when you had to deal with so much stuff. No, you're no, 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 no. Are you? Thank you for being such a good <laughs> friend. Like and, I, and I'm proud of you. I can still remember Mac. By the way, I don't know if you remember this, but remember when we did that uh, that workshop panel with uh, Briner and uh, and Bosco at Oticon? I think it was. <laughs> Andy was in the I, audience. I've, I've never been there. No, but Andy was in the audience of that panel. Oh, okay. So uh, and, right. and learned a whole lot. I of mean, I've so. Mac before. We met at AX. And even though my part was small, like the whole cast is so insanely talented, and I kind of don't feel like I belong here. Oh, stop it! No, no, but, no. Oh, stop. oh my god, I'm so proud of everyone here too. I hope you guys had fun doing all your voices and all the Absolutely. dev team, and I just can't be more proud of everyone in this game. Th- th- I'm th- stopping. Th- I gotta stop. <laughs> Thank you for for designing Gijinka Suntori. She was adorable. Oh, I love her. She's my baby. And thank you for designing the character that we can't say anything about. I know. E- everybody, be 100% the game. Just, you'll know. I'm about to. Also, yeah. speaking of which, Alejandro, get ready to race. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna be the first oh, VTuber. Oh, 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 oh. You're definitely be- <laughs> beating this game before I am. Oh yeah, oh, no, no. Alejandro, I'm surprised he has enough time to breathe and be here for this right now. He's doing so much yeah, stuff. Good uh, lord. Uh, honestly, my my evening actually got it. So I, I was supposed to be gone right now. Uh, oh, okay. It got canceled. It got canceled, thankfully. So. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to be starting on Tome later, so... Yeah. Oh, well, all I'm right. Gonna oh, I'm going to be the first God. YouTuber to beat it. Let's go. Oh, my God. I mean, you'll beat it, but I'm going to start it. Wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, um, uh, uh, let's see. Mac. Mac. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> well, uh, first off, I'm I'm just so proud of you for the fact that you you stayed committed you saw this through to the end uh through everything and, and you know me having been here since day one i've always always admired your your commitment and your passion uh for your creative projects and and again uh i know that it hasn't been easy but you've worn so many hats you you've, you've carried on through so much and it's it's really really surreal uh to see that this is all come to fruition in the way that it has and and i'm just so impressed and i'm so 
grateful to be a part of it. Uh, I've told you before, I, I consider uh, Rocky to be the single greatest and most meaningful gift to me that I have literally ever been given. And the fact that you've trusted me with that character, you've trusted me to put all my all my crazy I, I, ideas out there. Uh, it's literally the most, um, probably the only um, creative outlet I've had that I've really been comfortable with mm -hmm. and the only one I've really been vulnerable with putting so much of myself into. So again, the fact that you've, mm -hmm. you've given me that and uh, I've still been able to have an influence on this character 10 years later that mm -hmm. means the absolute world to me so uh i mean if it yeah, wasn't yeah. if it wasn't for you raccoon wouldn't have been the character that he was <laughs> i mean no i mean truly like he could have just been you, you and bosco mm -hmm. could have been that you know right. little one episode monster of the week little duo right. in that first episode and then you know but because of the friendship that i made with you mm -hmm. and everything that you've done for me and you know and and while obviously there is still a part of me that is is sad that you know it's not us as these characters anymore but of course i made the decision to to differentiate it and go with a whole new universe and everything i'm really glad that like your spirit like came through on all, not just raccoon but all of the troublemakers and you know and, and i and i wanted to leave directing Zeno and michael and griffin in your hands and and i and i only hope that you know because i know you haven't actually got to see much of the footage itself yet i, I really hope right. that that I've done you really truly proud when it comes to your own contributions because it was mm -hmm. a team effort and I and I think that you know I'll say to everybody out there I, I think that the story of the um, you know a lot of these characters have their own kind of individual like arcs that are all really important to what goes on with them and everything but um, mm -hmm. I, I, the troublemakers in particular you know they're, they're really their own kind of animal um they're, they're a raccoon <laughs> uh they're they're uh, and 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 mac and i both and and they're 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 new actors we put so much love and care into mm -hmm. into them and uh and i hope that um that by the end of their journey as you play through the game and see where those characters go that um they might leave a positive impact on y'all and uh and that's really all because yeah. of because of mac's hard work and dedication just as much so <laughs> Uh, some of my hard work. It's ah, like, take the know. compliment. Ah, you I'm, I'm, friggin I'm, I'm, but I, I am really, really proud of. of yeah, dude. Oh, oh. And, uh, yeah. Wait. I look forward to seeing how it all came together. Hold on. What? Hold on. Where? I'm uh, holding. Oh. Oh. Hmm? oh. Hold on. I think we might have a person that would be re oh. very relevant to what. Uh, up, up. <laughs> Hold up. Oh. oh. I'm holding. I. Okay, oh, now join. I have to stay join. muted. I'm so sniffly. <laughs> I keep crying. I'm holding. Uh, yeah. I, oh, I hope he can come in. I hope he can come in. Oh, I thought I'm it. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Also, thank you for thank you to Jasmine Williams for the twenty dollar donation message. Oh, redacted. message redacted. Okay. Redacted. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn. That, that's 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 wow. disturbing. But okay. Holy crap. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh oh no oh he might have to no he's not off, he's not off until five ah oh, crap yeah oh. sorry uh I won't even say I don't want to get people sad about it oh, oh well sorry sorry <laughs> um but uh all right Edwin I've known you for <laughs> oh man. Ha half of my lifetime now yeah the, pretty much the first been... the first time we worked together was on the TV Tome Adventures movie I believe. Was it? I think so, yeah. Oh, God. Wasn't, it, wasn't it Mega Man Zero, The Last Cataclysm? No, no, that was after, believe it or oh, not. That was after. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was that's, yeah, that's a few a years after. Cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Cut. But, well, um, yeah. yeah. What, what, do you, what do you got to say, huh? What do you got to say about the, the terrain of magical uh, I experts? Say, first of all, Jess, Jasmine Williams says, donate another $20? What? 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 Okay. Oh, well, thank All you right. for the thank they you. They really Jasmine. want that message. I, I they really want that. I message. hope it doesn't have something awful in it. But thank you so much for the donation. That's very kind of you. <laughs> thank you. Thank oh you. my God. Uh, uh, All right. Yeah. So what? What? What can I say? We've been we've been working together on stuff for way way too long. I yeah. feel like, and you've you've come you've come so far, Chris. Oh my God. So really, there's only one. Thing I can say. I hope you're very proud of yourself. No step, and that is a <laughs> minor spoiler for you, Lockhead. You know, I didn't even see it coming, 
You, I thought that's what I and, thought. And I should have. I thought that's why I was saving you for last. I was saving you. I was saving you for last because I knew you. The I met you first. I was going in backwards yeah. chronological order. Oh. Good lord! And you, you, oh. I got godded. I got, I godded myself. Got Good job. Uh. Wow. Wow. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. Who would have thought that? Uh, who would have thought that uh, <laughs> in in the early two thousands, when I first picked up how to use. Macromedia Flash 2004. Um, mm. To, uh, mm -hmm. to, wait, hold on. Oh, I thought I heard something. Sorry. Uh, you know, picking up, thinking that, oh, I'm going to learn how to, you know, make video games and then, you know, trying my hand at programming for a hot second in action script and being like, I hate this. I don't know if I'll ever actually be able to make a video game. And here I am. On September 9th, 2021, as a 32-year-old adult, Ooh, wow. and I and I made a fucking walking, talking tribute to Super Mario RPG with my original characters, Do Not Steal, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for all to play. And uh, wow, um, I think uh, I think on that note, um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mute us and go play, play us out with a, a certain lovely song that uh, Alejandro performed for us. Um, Yay! Every, everybody, uh, everybody who okay. joined, everybody who joined us today, everybody who made this happen, everybody who did anything that led to this literally lifelong dream of mine to come true, I will never be able to express enough how grateful I am uh, to be able to accomplish this. Um, oh, thank you, Mambu, for the for the five dollar donation. Appreciate it. Um, Thank you, Mambo. And uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm still nervous. I'm terrified. I don't know what the response is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a complete fucking flop. I don't know if there's going to be horrible game breaking crap that I, that I won't know how to fix. I have no idea. I'm really scared. This has been. I, I've really. Thank you, Kagome. Kagome for the five dollar donation. Um, Kagome. I, that, was, that, was, that was good. Uh, Kira, is that you? Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, it's Kagame. Thank you. Kagame. No, sorry. Sorry. Yes, of course. Um, uh, I. I. And, and truth be told, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing next with my life as a whole. Um, Take a vacation, you Yeah, I would love to do that. Um, yeah, I. Uh, I. Uh, you know, but. Um, but for the time being, um, I hope if you pick up the game, whether you got a free copy promised to you or you're buying it of your own accord, um, or if uh, you, you know, or if you're going to check out, I'm going to be putting up a full playthrough of the game on my channel probably very soon. Or if you uh, watch uh, any of these other fine folks who plan on playing the game in the future. I'm waiting to hear back from a few other people that said that they're going to help with streaming it as well. Uh, I really hope that you enjoy it. I really hope that this story and these characters mean something. Um, and uh, I'm getting a call. This is not the time. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and just everybody, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I, of course. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> who's calling me right now? Sorry. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to play us out with, uh, uh, to get, oh, good. And now we're getting raided by spam porn bots. Thank you for deleting those. Got it, don't worry. <laughs> you got it. You got it, man. Wow. That, that's, that's the sign of us having to, to, to go out. So, um, everybody, uh, thank you so much. All of you guys for joining me, everybody in the chat on, on YouTube and on Twitch and everybody. Um, I, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you all on the battle of grid and the battle of grid. Wow. I'm losing my mind. I'll see you all on the battle grid and, uh, and whatever comes next. I, uh, I hope we'll all uh, be on the ride together. So yay, rock and roll. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. More than just a game If you stand in our way You got no one else to blame We are more than just a team Come and join this victorious party From 
afar Each and every one a star Coming from a different corner of the universe So we traverse the place To the place where our destinies await Overcoming every trial No matter what it takes yeah. Now we've got to make a stride Even though all our goals may not be our life no. This is not just any fight Cause if we want victory, we gotta unite This is more than just a game If you stay Thank you.